you to get us started, Deedee? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. <clears throat> okay. Yes, people so thank you in. so much, everyone, for joining us today. We are presenting you NRI show, and we welcome the management team of Franchise India. We have Miss Sonia Chaudhary and Venus talking about the industry, talking about, uh, they'll be sharing their insights, views. Today, we are presenting you Australia and New Zealand edition. We'll start with, with the international brands going to the national brands. And we, our attempt is to provide 15 top opportunities, international and domestic. So with this welcome, uh, with this introduction, we welcome all of you over to our uh, management team. Thank you so much. Hey guys, a very good afternoon. Uh, Venus, would you want to uh, lead the introduction? Sure, sure. I'll get it started. Thank you so much, uh, Sonia. And thank you, Archana. Uh, a very big namaste and uh, good afternoon and good evening. Uh, to all participants joining us right now and later as well, our, all our colleagues, teams, our brands and franchise community around the country, Australia, New Zealand and the world. Uh, my name is uh, Venus Birak and I'm the CEO of uh, Fran Global. Uh, and I, on behalf of Franchise India and Fran Global, uh, would warmly like to welcome all of you at the NRI Summit. Uh, this summit uh, is an initiative by Franchise India and uh, Fran Global to proactively engage with our Indian community and our NRI community in franchising industry with India, as well as the countries they actually reside in. So uh, just a brief introduction, Fran Global is the international arm of Franchise India. And uh, uh, we exclusively work with international brands and concepts from all across the world. Uh, and uh, work with them closely, help them to find the right business model, partners for India, as well as few selected other markets. Uh, I personally have worked very closely uh, with the Australian and New Zealand uh, uh, franchise uh, uh, brands and consultants and markets, so it's very close to my heart and very happy to have this session today. Just to give you a bit of a perspective that why we are doing this, uh, just to set perspective. So this is our fifth in the, this is the fifth uh, summit in our series, many more to come. And uh, uh, one reason uh, we, uh, you know, a couple of reasons uh, which why we organize this is one, uh, that uh, in, in mature uh, major franchise markets like the US, Australia, UK, uh, even, even uh, uh, New Zealand, Indian origin community uh, has over 20 to 30% uh, share in their franchise network. Uh, next is, uh, there is definitely, especially with whatever is happening in the world, there is definitely a research of uh, NRIs or Indians living abroad coming back to India and uh, looking to connect with good brands and good businesses. A lot of NRI families looking for opportunities and options to invest in India directly or indirectly with their uh, families. A uh, lot of uh, our brother, brother and sisters coming back to India uh, after studying and working abroad for many years. And last but not the least, uh, uh, this is with personal experience, there is a demand uh, for specific Indian concepts and brands across Indian community and NRI community in their uh, market. So these are the few reasons, uh, you know, we have taken this initiative and uh, uh, we have curated uh, with Fran Global and Franchise India teams, a mix of international brands and Indian brands with the scope of expansion definitely in India and any other suitable markets. Uh, and I encourage all our participants who have joined us and who will be joining us further to really engage with us, to provide your feedback, ask questions, uh, and just do your required due diligence uh, of the brand of your interest, our teams. Uh, here, as well as after this uh, session, would be more than happy to help to, uh, to help you to provide whatever support you need. And in my experience, I've been doing this for over 13, 14 years now. Franchising is a matchmaking process and you should look for financial, strategic and operational fit during the selection process. And then of course, bind it legally. And uh, uh, not taking further time, before I finish, uh, I have to thank uh, Mr. Gaurav Maria, who is our chairman and founder and will be joining us. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sonia Chaudhary. Uh, all our uh, uh, teams at Franchise India, 
our brands who have been very, very accommodating in uh, ensuring that we actually do have a great uh, a power packed session. Uh, Franchise India Media's, our teams at FIBL, Fran Global. Special thanks to Dheera Jenna's team uh, who really uh, make this session happen. So thank you so much. And I really hope uh, you would, uh, uh, you know, you would enjoy and find valuable what we have put together for you. Thank you so much. And welcome to the fifth edition of NRI Summit. Thank, thank you, thank you so, so much. Sonia, yes, please come in. That was quite uh, elaborate and you pretty much covered everything. And I'll just take a minute uh, to welcome all our friends who have joined. And I'll uh, repeat that we initiated this series as a response to a growing number of inquiries that we received, uh, started receiving when the lockdown began. And uh, more than half a million people of Indian descent today live out of uh, Australia and New Zealand. And the history of Indian diaspora in these two uh, countries is uh, much older than we imagine, which goes beyond 250 odd years. And, uh, and why we felt, you know, we wanted to do uh, in, in these times because franchising has flourished historically in difficult times. And I'm sure a lot of you would know the Great Recession, which witnessed franchise growth. And people look at franchising as a means of buying a stable job for themselves because it combines a safety net of franchise model, which is tried and tested. And it also brings in the stability and independence of business ownership. Uh, but at the same time, because uh, these times are critical, these are adverse times, the role of decision making uh, becomes even more critical. So we always advise investors to take an informed decision of buying a business and also make responsible choices. And on the other hand, we advise companies to implement sustainable business models, which keep adding value for all their stakeholders, uh, which includes uh, the end consumers, the customers and the franchisee. So uh, friends, through this platform, we keep exposing many opportunities and I would also like to maybe put a word of caution. Not every opportunity might be a right fitment. And I think Venus did made a mention of that. And you all need to ensure that you're evaluating an opportunity uh, with the you know, five important tools that each one of you must consider when uh, evaluating what options come your way. First and foremost, I would say self-evaluation. These are your personal traits, uh, business skills, experience, knowledge. And most important, the ability to meet challenges is extremely important in these times. So draw a personal financial roadmap of what you want to achieve. Second, look at the industry overall, how it is growing, not only in current times, but see how the future prospects of the industry look like and the overall demand. Third, look at market assessment, uh, because not all opportunities, as we say, are appropriate for all markets. Uh, there's always a demand and a gap, uh, and this is which needs to be done at your level. Fourth, look at the competition, look at similar brands, do their analysis, their credibility, background, and the offerings which they are giving. And lastly, brand assessment, which is most important. Look at the people behind, how transparent is the company in giving out the information, you know, from their product, procurement, sales they are doing, what margins the product has, and how successful the existing stores are doing. Especially, it is very important for any company who goes out uh, into franchising to also have a successful prototype. And uh, friends, with this, I'd like to uh, give back to uh, Archna to have uh, our panel members coming and have a great uh, session ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sonia ma'am. Thank you so much, Venus ma'am, for uh, sharing your advice with us. Now, I would invite my colleague, Ms. Priyanka, to take it further with international clients. Thank you, Archana. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon, uh, first of all, to Indian people. And good evening to the Australian and New Zealand people. So uh, we are here uh, for the, uh, obviously for Australia and New Zealand edition of NRI show. And we have uh, six brands from Frank Global in various industries such as edutainment, food, uh, coaching and uh, service industry. So first of all, uh, I would like to invite one of our uh, brand from food industry, which is a Potato Corner. So Potato Corner is uh, popularly known as PC and uh, it is into uh, F&B business from almost 27 years and it is uh, famous for best flavored french fries and chips globally. So right now I'm inviting uh, the international business development manager Jaira David. Uh, so hi Ms. Jaira. Hi Priyanka. Hi everyone. Um, is it okay if I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, you have to share your screen. It's over to you now. You can start and get started. Alrighty. Okay, let me know um, if it's showing already. Yes, it, it's visible, yeah. All right, well, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Fran Global, for inviting us here. So uh, quite briefly, I'm here to present Potato Corner or the, be the world's best flavored French fries. 
Um, in other parts of the world, it's actually known as chip. So the world's best flavored chip. As Priyanka mentioned a while ago, yes, we've been operating for 27 years already. Um, it is an established brand with more than 240 stores globally. Now we have 54 stores in the US, three in Canada, more than a thousand stores in the Philippines. And I just wanted to share, like, despite the COVID pandemic affecting everyone globally, we actually remain to be agile and um, quick to respond to the pandemic. Just two weeks ago, we opened our third store in Canada. And for 2020, we actually kept on opening stores in Thailand, Cambodia, and Indonesia because of the potential of the brand in these territories. Now, um, what would you see in a typical potato corner store, we're known for our fries or chips. Um, as you can see here, we offer, we actually offer our fries in six, five to six different sizes. You can have it by yourself or you can share it with um, your friends or your family. And aside from the fries, we also offer a broad range of pota um, specialty potato fries. So that would be waffle fries, loopy fries, hash brown, and Quite recently, we have expanded our menu to popcorn. And in all of our stores, you would know our four core flavors for French fries. It would be cheese, barbecue, sour cream, and chili barbecue. So as I mentioned, our brand is very agile and we tend to localize a lot. So in our North American markets, we have specialty flavors like rancho cheddar, um, cream cheese, and we also have um, specialty flavors in Southeast Asian markets which is very much hyped. Um, this is sweet corn, wasabi, truffle, seafood, kimchi, and so many other flavors internationally. Aside from our potato products, um, recently we have expanded to chicken. So most of our stores in internationally would offer chicken pop. So um, chicken pop with fries uh, or all alone. In our Canadian market, we also offer chicken wraps. And in our Australian stores, we offer chicken burger. Now, these um, you won't see this in the local stores, but international, we actually, as an international franchise, we recommend that you localize and actually see what's the trend and the dynamic in the local stores. So for our beverages, as you can see, um, this is quite popular in our Southeast Asian market. We have roast lemonade, lime soda, lychee soda, and even in Canada, we have a boba brew line. Um, selling over there. So our menu is very much flexible and we encourage our franchisees to adopt to the local taste and preference um, um, that's pop currently popular in their territory. So for the store format, um, our school cart is, this will be the most basic in the Philippines or in local territory with, which operates kiosk. It would be four to five SQM. And the reason why we've been operating for 27 years and have a very successful business model because in such a small space, we make the space very efficient. So for our international stores, we actually introduced first a standard kiosk um, or an island in malls. This would be 10 to 15 SQM. We have available inline takeout stores with ranges from eight to 10 SQM and dine-in stores which offers a wide range of products from 15 to 25 SQM. So as you can see um, here over to the right, our store design, this would be the typical store layout or format of our store. So in airports, in, the, um, in our airports in Thailand, in Singapore, and you could see how our, it's really fun because our brand really caters to kids and then at, um, also to kids at heart. So you see how it's, it has a very fun feel and it caters to a lot of children. So in Indonesia, we even have like a, a truck field, um, food truck, and this would really attract a lot of children. And we know and that would really be our initial target market for our stores. So brand localization, as I mentioned a while ago, we really customize the menu. So we have um, a store in Panama, our menu is in Spanish. We have um, several stores in Southeast Asia and we convert this to the local dialect. And aside from that, our local flavors and products, grilled squid in Thailand, sweet corn in Singapore, Thailand, and C Cambodia, Myanmar, different things which caters to different territories. And um, as a very flexible brand, we really want to assimilate in the market and hoping in India, the Indian palate, will, uh, we will also assimilate 
to the Indian market by adopting our flavors in our product line to what is currently trending and popular in the local territory. So for the relevant um, franchise fees, so we're currently looking at two strategies in penetrating or entering India. Pan India, you would be um, like a you would be the full ex or exclusive franchisee in, in Pan India. So um, our current fees would range would be 400 to 440 lakhs, and this would co cover 10 stores. So the royalty fee would be 6%, marketing fee of 2%, and after the succeeding then after the 10 stores, the succeeding franchise fee would be 550,000 Indian rupees. Now, we forecast and in Pan India, based on the store types that we currently have, you could have at least 350 to 400 potato corner stores in the next 10 years. So the um, expansion and the potential is very massive, especially in your market. Um, for a per developed per area development, so you can bundle it to north, south, east, or whatever, at least two geographic areas in the in India, we're looking at a franchise fee of 146 lakhs to 300 lakhs, depending on the bundle that you choose. And that would cover three to six stores. Um, royalty fee, same at 6%, marketing fee at 2%, per store sub-franchising fee of 550 um, thousand Indian rupees. And for, for example, um, in, North, in North India, North, East, West, um, per territory, we have an estimated potential of 150 to 250 stores um, in the next 10 years as a development. So that's basically like the very gist of who Potato Quarter is and our global expansion plan in India. Um, the inclusion for the franchise fees that I've mentioned would be um, a use of our trademarks for 10 years, the first initial stores, and different things um, included in the franchise. So that's it. Thank you so much, Jaira. And just uh, because we might have uh, some people wanting, uh, interested in uh, uh, acquiring Potato Corner for let's say Australia or New Zealand. And uh, one thing which I know that uh, Potato Corner is a uh, leader in, in its category and you have international uh, presence quite a bit. So, uh, Apart from India, uh, is the brand available for uh, Australia, New Zealand? If somebody might be um, interested. Yes, definitely. Um, we actually have a couple of stores in Melbourne and in, in Victoria. Good. So we have NSW and Victoria. We have stores there already. Uh, we, we can easily expand in other territories in Australia and actually open in New Zealand. Very good. That's, that's, and it's a very scalable model. Uh, I think one thing with Potato Corner is you can put this in any kind of a, a retail format. You can put this in a mall, you can put this on a high street, you can put this in a corporate park or a, or a college or university. Very, very scalable, yeah. uh, very easy business, low cost franchise. Very one thing, and that's why you have uh, over 1,000 units in Philippines is that uh, it's a low cost franchise and uh, it has all the right ingredients, if I can say, uh, for somebody to come in and scale it up. Definitely in Indian market, but uh, even for New Zealand and Australia, they already have proven the, the pilot models. So th those territories, in case you would be interested, is available. Yeah, definitely. Um, just and our stores in the US and in Canada, they were able right. to scale it, not just in malls, but in food trucks, in parks, like you mentioned, and fries, everyone loves fries. It's just a, right. it's, um, a very flexible product line. And with our business model, and we are 27 years of experience, we can really help franchisees operate and scale the business the correct way on how we've been doing it for years. Thank you so much, Jaira. Uh, and uh, we will Thank come you, back Vina. to you with uh, uh, the interest which we receive and update you and uh, accordingly align calls. Thank you so much for All joining right. us. Thank you. Thank you, Venus. Thank you, Zaira, for joining us. Uh, so next, uh, we are moving on to uh, the next brand, which is Suds. Uh, so 
Suds uh, is basically the company uh, from Philippines, which is a largest dry cleaning laundry service provider. And with it, it has 75 and plus center, centers available. So it's an immense pleasure to invite Carlos, the founder of the company. Uh, so over to, over to you, Carlos. Hi, so let me share my screen. Good afternoon to everybody yeah, hi, yeah, and sure. good evening to those in Australia. So we are Suds. We're being called Suds Laundry here in the Philippines. But we are more than laundry. Um, we're actually a clothing care company already. So we started way back in 2003. We are not as old as uh, Potato Corner, but we are also already 17 years in the textile care business. And these are our brands. As you can see, um, we started with laundry and dry cleaning, and we have expanded into luxury garment care or wet cleaning. Uh, we also have uh, an industrial laundry brand called Aquion. And this is very important because uh, the synergy of all our brands is what makes us different here in the Philippines. We are not just laundry, we are not just dry cleaning, but we serve everybody from couture, fashion designers, to the biggest hospitals here in the Philippines. So how did we do this? Um, first, we put up stores um, called the Suds Go Cleaner Store. The Suds Go Cleaner Store is not your typical laundromat because as you can see from the picture, uh, our machines are very um, high, high tech. They connect to the internet. Uh, we can send programs to them. We synchronize them so that they can do wet cleaning, uh, winter jackets, and they do 50% more services than the typical laundromat here in the Philippines. And also because of this differentiation, we've managed to, to go through the pandemic um, in better shape than, in, than most brands. Because uh, from our research, uh, every, uh, because of the changes in the people, people's behavior, uh, people are being cautious towards services and even buying products. But because of this, and our tie up with Chrysler of Germany, we've managed to launch Sud Super Clean, which is a disinfecting wash, disinfecting level wash. And we're promoting it right now as a, this is our baseline wash already. Uh, all of the washes we do here at Suds will be disinfecting. And we don't just claim it, it's a, it, we use the protocols being approved by Robert Koch Institute in Germany. This is Reviva, our other brand, which deals with luxury garment care. So um, structured garments uh, like suits, gowns, and other delicate items can be processed at Reviva. And Aquion is our industrial laundry. Like I said, we serve hotels, hospitals, uh, factories, and the volume in Aquion is so much larger than uh, what we do in our retail stores. So the strategy in expanding to India will be to bring all these brands one at a time. Uh, first, we start with Suds Go. Um, and then as the Suds Go cleaners stores um, expand, we can start bringing in Reviva. For every five or seven such stores, we can bring in only one Reviva store. Um, and then we can also build Aquion Industrial Laundry. So let me share another aisle to show the India strategy. So here, um, in case you're interested in textile care, um, and Shul and I have plotted out the, the numbers that we could use to expand to India. We have studied the competitors of Suds, mainly Uclean, um, Uclean Select, Fabric Spa, uh, and the other uh, laundry, laundry and dry cleaners in India. And we have seen that we could really compete um, in terms of the services that we could provide. I believe that uh, the Philippines, in the Philippines, we have 
uh, evolved much more, a little bit more, uh, maybe three years advanced in terms of, of the development in the laundry service uh, compared to the India market. We've had a lot of competition here. And for 17 years, we have, um, we have been the number one in terms of capacity. Uh, in the number of stores, we're also the top three in the Philippines. So we know how to compete. And we don't compete based on price alone, but we are very competitive in price. We compete on quality. And I'll show you a picture later of what we're able to do. But we've studied the competitors in India. And I'm very glad to say that we are very competitive with, with the brands in India. So to approach the Indian market, um, we go with the key cities here defined in our strategy. And we roll out by, by um, building such go cleaner stores and then Reviva and then Aquion Industrial Laundry. It depends on the localities or the cities that we will be building. For example, right now in, in the Philippines, the Aquion Industrial Laundry during the pandemic was our strongest brand because most of the hospitals because of COVID um, gravitated towards uh, industrial laundries that specialize in high hygiene, of which we're one of two only here in the Philippines. So we got business because of, of the pandemic. So our strategy is, again, Sudsgo, Cleaners, Reviva, and then Aquion. These are the numbers that uh, for the finance, financial part, but um, all I want to say here is your ROI, should you decide to, to build a such um, clothing care brand in India or in Australia, will be about three to four years. And um, laundry is very stable. Um, if once a customer goes to you, they don't leave you. So uh, we've established that in many key markets here in the Philippines, from the south to the north cities, um, the behaviors of, of the customers are all the same. So we're very confident that there will be no fluctuations in, in the demand for laundry. And what we see here is what you will also see in India. So um, again, if you are interested in, in bringing the Suds Clothing Care Group to your city, uh, we can talk more about the details of the franchising, uh, master franchising and rolling out stores. And my last slide, I'd like to share the quality that we, we can produce. So do you guys see it? Yes, we can see it. I think a picture speaks a thousand words. Uh, we've been in existence for 17 years. Our competitors have come and gone. And um, why does the top institutions like Nestle or Makati Medical Center trust us to, to provide the laundry for them? These are the top and um, the big factories here in the Philippines. This is an example of, of our quality. This is just one wash, um, one single wash using not even hot water. Um, you can see the quality difference. And it's not because of just the chemicals we use of, um, because we use better chemicals. Yes, that's, Chrysler is really good, but um, everything we do in, in our business, uh, we, we tend to, we really strive to bring you the best quality. And uh, I think this picture speaks a thousand words. It is a representation of what we can do with such go cleaners, with Reviva and with Aquion. And I end my presentation there. Um, feel free to contact Fran Global if you're interested in our brand. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carlos. Carlos, you mentioned about, uh, and a lot of people must be thinking, and laundry is a very, is a highly franchised business worldwide. Uh, so anything which has changed according to you because of what pandemic has done, uh, I mean, what pe people should know uh, because uh, before sort of, uh, you know, uh, sort of getting to know more about this. What has changed and where is the market going? Oh, okay. So we've, we've partnered with the Philippine Statistics Research Council here in the Philippines, and we made a formal study on the laundry mark, on the laundry segment here in the Philippines. Um, what we've learned is that most of the customers um, want to go back, but right, uh, but before, when, during the early parts of the pandemic, they were, they were concerned for their safety. 51% sure. um, 
of the customers are saying that we are we don't know how we we can um, get COVID through clothes, and so because of this uh, because of this knowledge, we partnered with Croiser and uh, in our Facebook page we have a webinar or uh, it's a it's a seminar it's a talk show with Chrysler chief chemist and we talk about disinfection how how to remove the the virus from clothes from any type of clothing and because of that um, our customers when we resurveyed they're gaining confidence and as long as we pick up the items so now they don't want to go outside their house that's where the market is going we have to right. pick up from them and we partnered with Lala Move Grab here in in the Philippines to do that to, to make it easier for them and we I, I believe that after this is over and we uh, we are, we're used to the new normal we'll come out uh, stronger than the competitors here sure and that would uh, be a common feature in even in Indian market that uh, laundry uh, is a delivery business so pickup and uh, delivery is is part of the business so uh, because our labor is fairly uh, uh, I don't want to use the word cheap but it's it's something which can be made part of the business model uh, but uh, just for our participants if you would want to do this in Australia New Zealand the business dynamics might be a bit different there because uh, there it is uh, self-collect or uh, do your laundry by yourself and uh, uh, suds and all the brands under such can work in any of these markets, whether India, definitely in India, India is a very important and big market for such for all the three concepts uh, for the for the such go for the premium as well as for the industrial and uh, even Australia and New Zealand can be very interesting markets uh, uh, in, in case you are interested. So we look forward, uh, reach out to us if you have any questions, we would love to then uh, accordingly organize your session with Carlos. Thank you so much, Carlos, for joining in and uh, speak soon and have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, so next we are moving on to our next brand, which is Global Adventure Park. So this is an exciting family entertainment center catering almost two to 22 years of age group. And so right now I'm inviting Sue Susan Stone, Managing Director of uh, Global Adventure Park. Susan, uh, over to you. You can uh, take over. You can uh, show the presentation to us. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hi, Sue. Good evening to you. Uh, yes. Can you hear me? We can hear you clearly. You need to share your screen with. Uh, so you need to use the option of uh, share screen so people can see your screen. The yeah. presentation. Can you, can you see me now? No, uh, no, we can't. If you uh, click on this green button, which is there. Yes. Uh, share done. screen. Share. Yep. I've done that. And have you selected the presentation? Do that automatically. It will happen. Um, I was told. Yeah, I was told that this presentation would be up for me. Or oh, somebody else will do it? Yes, um, Anshul. Anshul, could you please do that? Yes. For you, have you got the presentation there, Anshul? Dear me. Okay, shall I just do, do what I can without the presentation? Just a second, Anshul, you have the presentation? Yes, yes. yes I have, I can run that. Yes. Uh, so just give, give, give us a second, he will just upload the presentation in a second. Thank you very much. Uh, until we, until we still can't see, we, we can only see the whiteboard. Yeah. Okay. Is it visible now? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Great. Thank you thank very you. much, Ansel. So thank you again. It's a pleasure to, to be back with Fran Global, Venus, and, and everybody that keeps inviting me, which is fantastic. My name is Suzanne Stone. I just live outside of Canberra. Um, and I'm very excited to bring you the contemporary offering of Global Adventure Parks. Who we are and what we do. You know, I'm sure you'll all agree that 
Entertainment for children has vastly changed in the last 20 years. You know, you can no longer roam the streets as children. We've got to be very wary of where they are. And screens are continuing to invade their youth and we're taking them away from parks and exercise and activity. And they're spending more and more time in front of the screens, which can't be healthy for our children. Um, I entered the adventure park sector some 20 years ago. Um, in November uh, 2014, actually been franchising for over 20 years. And we continue to enjoy a rapid growth in this um, industry. The purpose of a gap is to never stop creating fun. And that's, that's what I'm doing. You can see on the screen there, we've got so many activities for children to enjoy. But I wanna go one step further than our competitors. And that is that when children come to GAP, it's not about just trampolines, it's education. It's getting them to use the left and right side of their brain, using their cognitive skills, you know, um, to make sure they're exercising, but they don't even know because they're having too much fun. I want to educate our children, making sure that they're getting worn out so parents at the end of the day can feel satisfied that their children has been exercising, having fun, using their motor skills, talking about balance um, and all that in a very fun environment. So, you know, it's active fun indoors. It's believe that you should never stop having fun with children, that we're gonna challenge them safely. We're believing that we are going to, um, you know, aim high in everything that we do um, at, uh, at GAP. So um, am I moving this screen along, guys? Or are you going to uh, do it? Anshul will have, you would have to prompt Anshul uh, Sue uh, okay. for the screen change. Yeah. yeah. So if you can just, our purpose is to never stop creating fun. If you can just move a couple of screens forward, please, Anshul. Yes. Yeah, so here it is here. It's more than just a business. It's a mission to build a business that grows with the community. It's a friendly, engaging and family orientated business. Children can, and adults can get loose together. So parents can exercise, have fun, get loose with their children. Everybody's happy at the end of the day. Um, you know, I did a little bit of research on, on children in India. And, you know, we have some, a little bit of obesity happening for our children. We're eating fast foods, of course, and we're eating foods that are not necessarily that healthy. Um, and we want to make sure that we stand with our children to have a little bit of exercise. They don't even know about it. And we're going to be creative. So the next time they come along, they try something a little bit different. The difficulty is there. They're going to be not just a trampoline park. They're going to challenge themselves with new skills. So next, please, Anshul. Yep. Flip into fun at a global adventure park. I've been um, looking at uh, my previous role with Flip Out, um, was the COO um, in charge of 25 centres um, on a daily basis, making sure their revenue stacked up, hiring the right people. Um, training them and we have all of this to offer anybody that's interested in taking global adventure park which is the next level of um, indoor active fun for children and young adults right you know right through to 20 22 year olds to challenge themselves um, in this obstacle courses climbing um, trampolining slides um, and education so that's very important for us. Um, and next slide, please, Anshul. Yeah, yeah. You can see by the screen there in the background that I've put a lot of work into creating something very different, something very different that we haven't seen before into these adventure parks for children. Um, I'm ready to take the competitors on. You know, this is a unique mix of trampolines, parkour, obstacle, Horses, airbags, foam pits, wall runners, and 
you know, we know that children love to challenge themselves and get competitive. And we've got a lot of licenses already available in Asia Pacific and Europe and in New Zealand as well um, as for this. So next slide, please, Ansel. Oh, it's crooked. So Forbes have backed us. You know, we, we, we believe that um, with Forbes, the, um, the, it's an industry that is a huge growth. You know, it is very much on people. It's very much on what are we going to do with our children? You know, we can't keep them indoors in front of the screens. Schools are a huge market for us. And there's so many revenue streams to a gap. There is, you know, classes for children to attend to. There are the birthday parties, of course, that we need to attend to. And everybody does, you know, we don't want to have our birthday parties at home anymore. We want to have our birthday parties in a facility where the parents don't need to worry about inviting, you know, bring along the children. All they've got to do is send out the invitations etc cetera, etc cetera. so um, basically um, global adventure park is where we need to be um, and i have my 10 business commandments there um, and it's leadership you know we lead from the front with a flat management structure um, the ethos we walk and talk our offering so you know if you have to be a believer in this the attitude, we need a great attitude that makes a great team. We demand high work ethic and reward and pay people proportion to the value that we bring you. We're entrepreneurial, we need to take our blinkers off. We relax, relate and communicate in this brand. It's simple and we like to keep it that way. We hire well because it's very important and that's where it starts and the, the initiative and be flexible to move fast. And P for leadership right at the end is we put our people first because they are the heartbeat of this brand. So basically, I hope you can take some value away from this presentation today. And if you have any questions or um, you know, you wanna get in touch, these are my details, but of course you'll go through Fran Global um, and I want to thank you very much for listening to me and hopefully we'll be back soon with some more initiatives. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much uh, for uh, this, uh, Sue. And uh, I think you, you're right. Uh, what you have created, since you have so much of experience as a, a franchisee, as somebody who has managed uh, and, have, and have spent so much of time working in these entertainment uh, brands, it's very interesting that when you have put something together of your own, it is very futuristic. And I think one thing which I would want to share with people who might be interested is this is a long term business. Uh, uh, this is not a short term business. Uh, it's almost like, you know, uh, it's almost like putting up a, a factory, uh, a mini factory, and uh, it has a very long term uh, scope. Uh, for uh, and uh, it's a business. Once you are able to, uh, you know, set yourself together, it's it's a business which is uh, which comes with referrals. Uh, you do you you make a kid happy. The parent and the kid is going to come back. So we need. Uh, so I think for this business, uh, you should definitely be passionate about uh, uh, child development, child learning, child fun, as well as uh, investing into something which will give you returns. Definitely in short term, but it's, it's, it's more or less a long term business. Sue, so that makes sense? Oh, very much so. Yeah, very much so. So by the time you um, start up one of these businesses, of, of course, there's a big flood of children and parents and, you know, there's so many different revenue streams. But the thing is, is that what we were trying to do, what is so different about the other brands that I've worked with, mm. is that the customer will come back because right. there's other things to do. It's not like having the same Tonka truck at five. You know, at five years of age, they may be able to do some of these things, but then at seven, they're still coming back because of the futuristic of this brand. There is so much to offer. Um, and that is why, you know, the brand you know, is uh, solid um, because children need something to do. 
and we can't just keep ignoring the fact that they can't play outside. It's right. not safe anymore. So we bring them inside to a healthy, safe environment. And uh, yeah, it's a long-term business, that's for sure. Thank you so much, Sue. I also totally agree, especially in markets like India. Uh, you know, you, you, you aptly pointed out that uh, kids are, uh, you know, they come back from school, they spend about an hour and then again, they're back to their tuition classes. It's a very limited time. They actually get outdoors. And our climate also does not allow our kids to kind of spend a lot of time outside uh, because it gets really hot or it's cold as well. So uh, imaginative, uh, uh, you know, and uh, creative indoor entertainment is the key. And I think what you have spent time and money in kind of learning over the years is something which is very important to what you have put together. Uh, it's a very competitive sc uh, uh, space, as you know, because uh, you've got to be on top of the game if you want kids to come back. If you make it boring, kids are not going to come back, right? So, yeah, uh, yeah, so very, um, we are very excited to uh, partner with you and we do see a lot of future for GAP in India, Australia, New Zealand and every other market. So thank you so much, Sue. Uh, say my hi to thank Stephen you. and have a good uh, weekend. Thank you very much. I've, thank you very much. You're always so accommodating and it's always a pleasure to be here. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good evening. Thank you. you. Too. Bye. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye. So uh, next we are moving on to our next brand, which is a Spanish donut. Okay, so this time, uh, this is a very famous, uh, famous brand from Australia, which is, uh, you know, first time producing the churros there and currently have uh, eight cafes in different eight locations. Okay, and so we have uh, with us uh, Michael, the director of uh, Spanish Donut Australia. Welcome, Michael. Over to you, and uh, you can you can start. So, Michael, we'll start with the video first. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just trying to work out whether you can see me or not, but. It we doesn't can, matter. Okay. We can see you. Can, you. We can see okay. you and we can hear you. Hi, Michael. Hello, Venus. Hello, Priyanka. Hello, Angel. Look, basically, um, the, the franchise was launched about 10, 11 years ago. Uh, my background is actually was in franchising prior to uh, starting this business off. I had uh, franchise businesses with uh, Hungry Jacks slash Burger King, uh, KFC and 7-Eleven. So I know how the franchising system worked, but after we left that, we always knew that there was a, you know, certain things that wasn't right in the Australian market, that treat and this section, the sweets, just need a bit more development. And that's where we came in and developed the uh, Churro brand in Australia. Um, basically, we have a product that's both a sweet and a savory uh, product. Um, and the main point of difference between ourselves and our competitors is one very important key point, which is our products are made fresh to order. So unlike our competitors where their products were cooked anything up to 10, 12 hours ago, by the time you, know, you as a customer receive it, when you come into our stores, you order it, and with under two and a half minutes, we can actually have the product cooked in front of you while you're watching and we serve it fresh. As you can see, the churros on the screen there, they are made fresh and uh, it's just a fun product at the end of the day. So both the product, which can be sweet and savory is decided in the very last few seconds before we serve it to the customer. So we have developed lots of uh, innovative ideas for breakfast, lunch and takeaway packs. And uh, in Australia, we're experiencing a lot of interest. Currently, we have a television commercial going on we also have uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, pushing the sales for new sites. So it's a, it's a very interesting times. Uh, what do we have in the next screen? Let me have a look. Yeah. About the menu. Okay. Yes. This is a very, very interesting menu. So this on the left hand side, you can see they're all vegan. Every single product that you can see there, that was quite interesting the way that it was all put together and we have a world first. Once again, I can reveal here that we also have the uh, wholemeal churro, which is just an incredible product. <laughs> I don't know how my managers pulled that off, but 
you know, one of the main things uh, that we have in our company is all our managers and myself we consider ourselves at the same level. So when we have a meeting, there is no hierarchy involved. You know, we fresh out ideas and at the end of the day, you know, we work for the same company. So I don't consider myself any higher than them. So when I go into the schools, I work with them making the churro. And what we have is, I think I can quite easily say, I think would be one of the very few companies in the whole world where, where the product is developed by one of the managers or a franchisee. We actually put their name on that product. So that's how we encourage uh, product development. And um, some of the things that I can talk about here is recently, as uh, three or four months ago, we introduced ice cream into our stores. And the churros and the ice cream are just absolutely unbelievable match for each other. As you can see, the Sunday, for instance, um, you know, in a cup, there's the ice cream. Then we put a couple of churros in there and we sell that for four ninety five. You know, McDonald's sells the same ice cream, the same volume for 50 cents. And because we can put a couple of churros in there, we, we have this incredible huge markup. And on the left-hand side there, you'll see another product which has never been... Uh, than any other country in the world. That's the Spanish apple fries. So that's a product that was developed by us, created by us. Uh, it is just doing remarkably well. Then we have all our different range of drinks, like the Spanish <coughs> coffee that just is out of this world in terms of the flavor and the taste. Um, you know, these things are developed because people love working in our system. We encourage them to come up with it. And the Sunday ice cream, uh, you know, that's just a wonderful product. And it's, uh, our product is liked by lots of people, you know, all different age groups. So it appeals to a lot of people. And what we can also say is when people come to our stores and order the product, we're serving it hot. So that's the key point of difference between ourselves and our competitors. Now, this is this some of the images of the stores that Anshul put up. Now, this one on the far right-hand side is an interesting kiosk model, 16 square metres. We don't require more than two people at any one time to work in our stores because they're quite capable. And some of our stores do, you know, eighteen to $20,000 Australian dollars per week only by having two people. So we have this great model where we only take up 16 square meters we don't need a grease trap and we only require two people to work it so it's very very easy to get into and what we like about our model is we can develop it so recently we also introduced smoothies and we have the non-alcoholic spanish drinks like the sangria you know when people come to have a look at the sangria they go wow i never expected you know <laughs> a kiosk to have it and because we make it daily and it's just got that beautiful taste, people just keep on coming back and getting sangrias. And the same with mojitos. The non-alcoholic drinks that we're really pushing at the moment because we're approaching, obviously, in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, warmer months. It is just, yeah, it, it is just a fun product. Um, it doesn't require uh, expensive equipment. That's the other beautiful thing about our uh, business. The most expensive equipment that we have is, I think, about $4,000 maximum in value. So it doesn't cost a lot to get into or to set up. This is interesting uh, positioning of uh, price point, etc. cetera. We, we see ourselves yeah, just about there. Centuros and uh, Starbucks, obviously, we are different to them. Centuros, for instance, is more of a chocolatier. Uh, they require a lot more bigger sites and a lot more people to work in it at any one time. Starbucks, uh, once again, uh, we're totally different to them in the sense that people don't come in, sit down and sip a cup of coffee that they pay $3.54 for you know, hours and hours. That's not our model. Um, and the other competitor that you see there, Dunkin' Donuts, well, they don't make the donuts fresh like we do. So our churros are made fresh in front of the customer and that's why we have queues outside our stores because it's nice and hot when they get our product. Uh, so the cost of entry level is low. Recently, as I mentioned, we had um, ice creams that are doing really fantastic. 
it is, uh, you know, site selection and store fit out, I think compared to all our uh, competition is one of the cheapest and the lowest to get into simply because we don't require that many equipment and the sites. It's very, very small areas, and but we have a very large volume of product coming out. And we're hoping to obviously grow in other parts of the world and we are getting a lot of interests, which is quite interesting. Okay, what's next one? Well, area master franchise proposal is, I think, easily stated there. And she'll know we did quite a bit of work on that. And uh, it's in terms of royalties, marketing, etc. It's it's on par with our competition, and yeah. we just like people to inquire and just. Uh, Let's see what the story is, Let's see what our story is, where we come into it and how we can help them to achieve their financial goals in life by being a Spanish Donuts master franchise or a franchisee. Right. Uh, thank you so much, Michael. Uh, so we are looking for uh, Spanish Donuts is a very interesting opportunity for people uh, who would want to uh, buy into an area development or a master franchise. Uh, in India, definitely, uh, spe specifically in the top 15 cities, it will do very well. It's a very, again, um, the brands which we have uh, curated for you today are the brands which can be scaled up even in, in uh, 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 sort of whatever uh, times we are going through and definitely uh, much more ahead. So Spanish donuts can be easily put into a kiosk model as uh, Michael shared or even a bigger cafe model. Uh, the product is very decently priced. It can be, uh, uh, it's very easy, uh, very uh, sort of uh, easy business to operate as well. So we're looking for area developers or uh, regional partners, depending upon where you're located. And the opportunity is also available in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, uh, and uh, if you are open, for, if, you, if you would want for that, we can definitely have a discussion for that as well. Definitely. Uh, okay, so do we have time to run the video as well? Or yeah, Spanish? You can you just play the video. That would be good for the audience. Thank you. This is visible, right? Yes, yeah. it is. It's not moving, Anshu. No. Sure. So then uh, next we have, uh, I believe. Uh... Okay, so I guess we are not able to play the video. Michael, thank you so much okay. for joining us. No worries, um, Venice. Thank you so much. You've been very kind. Uh, look, yeah, I really do appreciate what you guys are doing. And yeah, I think uh, you know, a lot of things are. Uh, a lot of big things were expected uh, from uh, your company. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Michael. I'll speak to you soon and uh, we will follow up uh, uh, with the people who are interested and then come back to you for a joint discussion. Thank Definitely. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. So, Thank you. Uh, yeah, next we are moving on to the brand iCode. This is a USA's leading edutainment brand focused on computer coding coaching to the school kids. So uh, iCode's founder is Mr. Abid Abidi. Unfortunately, he is unable to join us today. Uh, so we have Anshul, Anshul Bansal, our senior con consultant, to take us through the brand. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Uh, because uh, Abid is based in Dallas, in the US, so it's actually um, in the middle of the night. Uh, he could not join, but he sends his regards and uh, uh, and Anshul is uh, kind enough to share uh, the brand information. Go ahead, Anshul. We are very excited about iCode. It's a, it's, a, it's a brand and business which has a lot of relevance uh, with the times we are living in, especially education and tech. It's a combination of that. And uh, it's, it's one, of, one of the fastest growing brands in this category in the US and uh, Abed, who actually is Indian origin uh, 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 and settled in uh, Dallas, US, is very passionate about what he's doing and has created this 
very sort of a, a state of the art in terms of its content, its curriculum. And we're looking for, and this can be taken in India, definitely. Uh, but Australia, New Zealand, if you would want to, uh, if you would be interested for those for those territories, we'll more than happy to have that discussion. Anshul, please go ahead. Thank you very much, Venus. Uh, so I could, uh, this is uh, an after school program for kids from uh, K1 to 12. Of course, hailing from US and uh, top notch curriculum. Uh, this is a differentiated business model with multiple revenue streams and you would see these streams in a subsequent slide. Uh, led by a strong online curriculum and hybrid program. Hybrid as in which is a mix of online and offline. Uh, we also have a strong uh, curriculum which can be integrated with existing K-12s. Uh, there is off-site dedicated uh, state-of-the-art center, about 200 square meter, where the kids can come after the school. And very exciting summer camps. Right? Alongside this, uh, companies also set up uh, future plans for programs during daytime, uh, focusing on adults uh, and some of the very exciting programs in that sense. So which means uh, the center is through the day, uh, the center can be used, right? Strong leadership team with vast corporate experience and connect, uh, you know, working with some of the leading uh, key investors uh, in US. So on that note, we start with uh, first the curriculum. It's a STEAM education, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Uh, what this does is uh, it, it also inculcates, you know, uh, skills, which is collaboration, problem solving, creativity, uh, critical thinking, project management. Some of these soft skills are also developed uh, within the kids while they're working and enjoying themselves at this program. Uh, a quick look at uh, the program overview. Uh, we have PACE, uh, which is self-paced game development program. Then ADVANCE, which is again a computer science classes and uh, uh, split into nine uh, divisions. We'll discuss about it. I sports a competitive gaming league, and then of course uh, the camps, uh, which is summer camp and online camp. We we'll talk about them in details of this slide. First, the advanced program. This is a collaborative computer science class, uh, and as you can see on the next slide here, uh, this is the signature belt program. So as you can see, there are nine belts here, and uh, each belt uh, a student would be for 16 weeks. Uh, three classes a week, uh, and then he spends uh, the time for the entire nine belts. So what this means is, once the student is enrolled with you in, in foundation, he is going to be with you uh, for uh, that many, uh, that long period, right? Another important aspect here is we don't need to enroll everybody in foundation. Depending on the skill set and aptitude of the candidate, uh, he can enroll in any, he can start with us in any of the programs. Right, of course, you cannot start at Master Black Belt directly, uh, but you can start at Black Belt or even a Blue Belt uh, to begin with. Right, so this is 16 weeks. Each belt is uh, 16 weeks, uh, three classes a week sort of program. So that gives you a long uh, hold on, on the kid for that long of period. Right. Following that, we have a self-paced uh, gaming program, as you can see. Uh, this is so the, the, the candidate is spending time herself on developing the program, of course, guided by the tutors, guided by the trainers, but no, no time limit in terms of learning and developing the game. Right. Third is uh, our summer our camps, which is a mix of on-site and online program. First, the summer holiday camp, which is set up, which is done at the center. And you can see some of the you know, new age programs like AI machine learning, uh, there's Battle of Robots, Digital Artwork, VR Experience, uh, Robo League. Some of the most exciting programs, there is drone programming also, uh, and absolutely new age programs where these kids, uh, you know, starting from an age of uh, five, six years up to uh, 15, 16 years can learn uh, and do these, right? Alongside the summer holiday camp, we also have online summer camp. So this is uh, considering the current situation where, uh, you know, parents are not too keen to send out their kids to a center. Uh, this is an online summer camp where students can stay at home, stay at their own convenient place and still be able to enjoy, learn uh, these programs with us, right? Uh, again, uh, we have kept uh, absolutely uh, 
the amazing most amazing programs you can see uh, uh, you know 3d printing and design there is digital artwork again uh, there is uh, roblox editor uh, which is on the robotic side following that uh, we have instructor led online classes as well where we help these young kids with website development uh, there is game development and python coding so some of the the very exciting programs that we have right and then as i said uh, there is an online hybrid curriculum where uh, kids would learn the program at online at their convenient place but then once in a week uh, they can also visit the center to actually practice uh, developing uh, the program right uh, or uh, actually practice playing with the robots and doing the stuff uh, so this is a, a combination of online and hybrid uh, program that we have Um, third very exciting program that we have is iSports, which is a competitive gaming group. So how we execute this is we, we divide all the uh, kids into a team of four and then they continue to play, uh, you know, within themselves uh, a gaming league uh, event. Then our offsite program with K-12, uh, this is integrated with existing schools uh, and we use school infrastructure to uh, run this program. Uh, you know, uh, so, so far we, we looked at uh, programs which could be uh, doing, uh, which is after school. Uh, so, uh, and using the afternoon and evening time only. Uh, and then of course, there are summer camps, there's online program and then integration with K-12. Uh, this is a future plan where we will focus on adult certified courses, which is artificial intelligence. You can look at blockchain, IoT, cybersecurity. Uh, and ethical lacking network defender disaster recovery and many others right so idea here is uh, that we will run these programs during the daytime uh, where kids are in the school but center is available infrastructure is available we can use the same center and run these programs during the daytime so this means uh, that your center uh, ensures an efficient utilization of the entire infrastructure right so during the daytime you would run this adult certified program afternoon and evening becomes uh, the after school kids program uh, and then you of course have k-12 you have online programs you have summer camps so around the year uh, you, it would keep you busy so i code of course a future ready business opportunity uh, one of the fastest growing industries across the globe and alongside uh, one of the you know fastest growing uh, brands also in this category uh, and the STEM education space, uh, competitively designed, differentiated business model, focusing on all possible aspects, led by online uh, curriculum uh, and hybrid curriculum. Uh, of course, uh, opportunity to tie up with K-12 existing schools, and then you can also set up a center as well, right? Uh, site development company would of course help you with uh, setting up the site, uh, reopening support, and ongoing support. So that is how our center looks like at Dallas. You can see uh, the first picture on the top here. This is uh, the welcome lobby. Uh, and then this is one of the uh, classrooms where the instructor is working with the kids, working with the students and giving them the understanding on what needs to be done, how it needs to be done. And then third picture here, uh, you can see kids actually developing program, working, spending their time on the system, uh, working and learning. The fourth picture here, it talks about the iSport hub uh, where this gaming league is, is done, right? Overall, uh, we're looking at an investment. Uh, we're looking at a 200 square meter center uh, with the capacity to hold 50 kids at one time, right? Uh, this could be uh, one of uh, the residential locations which can be converted into a center or it can be a, a, a new setup as well, right? Uh, these numbers you see here are developed for India. Uh, we're looking at an investment of 135, 140k uh, US dollars plus the franchise fee. Uh, in terms of the revenue side, uh, with 50 kids, uh, there is 6,800 hours available uh, at the center. So this would not include revenues from online and revenue from K-12 association, but this is the revenue at the center only, right? So 6,800 hours available per month. Uh, we're looking at an average fee per hour of 5.8, 5.9 dollars, US dollars. 
which means potentially uh, you can do 475,000 US dollars as an annual revenue, right? And as I said, this do not include revenues from the online programs now and uh, from your associations with the gateway, uh, right? This includes revenue from the summer camps, of course. Uh, so about, you also want to mention that this is these are Indian figures and uh, yes, the, the yes. revenue and ticket size and everything would, would change for Australia and New Zealand. Would change for Australia and New Zealand. It actually be much more near uh, what what they have in the US. If you, if you can Absolutely. just mention that. Yes, yes. So you know, I did mention that. So uh, these numbers that we're looking at here, uh, about one sixty thousand dollars for investment. Uh, this is for India. So uh, for Australia and New Zealand. We'll have to redo these numbers, and of course, we can do that for you. Uh, and also, the average fee per hour is five point eight dollars. Uh, this is again for Indian numbers. Uh, we will have to uh, redraw the numbers for Australia and New Zealand. But the key point here is uh, this is a high margin business, and in US also across uh, their uh, eleven centers, they've been able to generate about thirty percent uh, net profits uh, across their centers, right? So that is what we also believe, uh, whether it's in India or Australia or New Zealand, that's the margin uh, we should be able to generate, which means, uh, you know, that there is a definite ROI potential within two years uh, to be done. Per center that is, right? So to summarize, you know, uh, iCode is of course the future of education. This is what we see uh, coming in big time across the globe, uh, especially for a market like India, uh, where you know 200 million, 200 million students are there in K-12 today, uh, with very little access to new age programs, curriculum, exciting programs like these. Um, you know, with improving affluence and more aware parents, education levels going up. Uh, parents are now keen to send their kids to do such programs, give them the exposure. Uh, for uh, you know, for future jobs, which would of course be around AI, machine learning, robotics, and many other things, right? So that has to happen. Uh, we also seeing multiple revenue streams in this program. Uh, we looked at uh, a strong online curriculum. Uh, we have uh, association with K twelve. We lost you, Anshu. Hello, Anshu. Until you're so, there. Uh, I, I think this is the presentation is finished, uh, Branka, so you can uh, uh, sort of go ahead. So, this uh, is the last slide. Yeah, uh, so I think Anshu has fin finished and uh, there's some network issue. So, uh, last but not the least, from Fran Global, uh, we have Engage and Grow. Uh, this is world number one employee uh, engagement company started in 2012. And we have um, Mr. Shobhit Yadav, uh, country head of India with us. Over to you, Shobhit. Thank you, Priyanka. Uh, I also like to thank everybody else who is joining us today. And uh, because we have such a short time, so let me just quickly take you through the presentation which I've prepared. Uh, and while I will selecting that, uh, like Priyanka said, I'm Shobhit Yadav. I'm a country manager for Engage and Grow. And uh, so quickly, let me gonna tell you about the Engage and Grow and what this opportunity presents. So, uh, yeah. So Engage and Grow is a, by the way, world number one employee engagement organization. And when I say world number one employee engagement organization, which means we are totally born out of a passion and then also reaching rapidly to every countries with the mission of turning, you know, underperforming employees and reconnecting them and changing it to the fully engaged workforce globally. That is the agenda. That is the mission, which we, you know, which we are born out of it and uh, engage in grow, not only reconnecting and re-energizing all the employees, but then it is also minimizing the gap between the leaders and the, their team members, because which is very, very important for any, any business, you know, to get at the successful level. So Engage and Grow in very core, it's totally a people centric company, not any industry centric company. We are working on the people uh, with people. We are engaging them like never before. 
a man behind engage in grow uh, is mr richard maloney he is the founder and creator of engage in grow not only he is a successful author and a uh, engagement expert himself but he is he was also a sportsman so i tell you about the journey how engage in grow got born so engage in grow when he was a sportsman after you know once he got retired from the sports career he extensively worked with the sports team and successfully and he worked with the sportsman and the you know uh, with the managers along and he has done such a tremendous job and then those teams have led to the uh, win multiple titles and those teams have been very very successful when it comes to the sporting career they have achieved so much within those 9 years by the help of mr richard maloney so he thought of implementing the same model into the corporate side because like i said it we, he has worked extensively on on the people on the sports player not on the any specific you know industry so the same method the same tool which he thought and he thought of implementing into the business side also into the corporate side also that is how engage and grow was born uh, and it was born in 2012 like prankar said so so far uh, since 2012 we have reached 80 plus countries we have more than 300 licensed coaches with us who have successfully engaged 30000 employees you know which means they have they have successfully you know engaged more than thousands of businesses they have helped thousands of businesses like never before and then those businesses were dealing with disengagement less of profitability not at all productive and through these 300 plus employees 300 plus licensed coaches which we are having on board they have helped those businesses so in any company or any organization whether it is small or whether it is big we have three type of workforce we have engage workforce which means the people employee who are do their work very very efficiently they always uh, completed their work without i mean before the timeline before the deadline then we have not engage workforce which is also called disengage employees uh, and these these category of employee you know not engage are the ones who do always whatever they have expected to they will not exceed their limits they they are not very happy with their roles and responsibility they are just only worry about okay i have to meet this deadline and that's it they are not very passionate about their roles and we want to change those people we want to make them to the engaged employees then we have actively disengaged employees now this can be a very very you know a dangerous figure for any business whether it is retail whether it is manufacturing or any sports team also so now this actively disengaged employees are the ones who talk negative about the you know about your team about your company who are not at all interested in their own roles and responsibility they are rather interested in what other people are doing uh, they don't care about their roles they don't care about their job they are very very highly disengaged not at all interested so these sort of workforce are always there in any company and we want to change this not engaged and actively disengaged employees into the fully engaged workforce and that is what we have been doing so far so when it comes to the world you know uh, and you'll be surprised uh, if you haven't read it if you'll be surprised to know that through gallup there's been a study there's been a research that only 13% employees are engaged around the world only 13% which means 87% are totally disengaged employees and which is a very very big number to worry and simultaneously it is a very big number big market for all the coaches to reach out to help those businesses and you know uh, and if we are having 34 uh, you know uh, disengaged employees that means you are wasting 34% of salary on those each employees which is a big margin if you are if you are if for example if you are giving 15000 salary to to your employees that means if that employees are disengaged you are wasting 5100 on that employees right now this is a uh, a completely our ladder where we work on this is how this is just for an example to show you like how we work on so whenever our coaches go to any you know any company whether it is small or big they try to you know set a benchmark they try to reach out to the problems like what are the problems you are having what are those kpis you can give it to me so that i can you know deliver a coaching in your team so we try to evaluate those problems once we got those problems then we try to collectively uh, ask every leader or every team member to you know become accountable for those problems and then they collectively buy in for those problems once they buy in once we will be able to unite 
once we'll be able to form those connection between our coaching sessions and so then they will be you know more the team will be more aligned once the team is aligned we once we worked on the you know changing from negative to positive perspective once there is you know more and more engagement developing through our coaching sessions then the team gets engaged after the half of the sessions and once the team gets engaged the productivity will come and if the productivity will come team started getting growing you know and once they grow our mission is to you know let them grow for the continuous improvement years that is our method that is that is the goal which we are having at the moment and how we are doing it now these are these 12 different programs and these 12 different programs whenever you talk about any sort of coaching whether it is leadership coaching life coaching or any coaching these 12 programs has been designed by the world four best coaches you know and imagine the kind of content they are delivered we are talking about the world four best coaches so these are the 12 programs which are there which are already a proven business model uh, so whether it is a women centric coach uh, course whether it is you know red belt program blue belt program it obviously are having a different you know uh, uh, the dur- uh, the durations whether it is for 6 months 3 months now we have specifically program for the sports team we have one on one leadership program then we have a gray belt program likewise there are many programs once you become a coach your coach license package and your trainings looks like like you will be having a 3 hours of free video training uh, that will be given uh, before uh, once you make us the payment we'll give you the 3 hours of video training once you attempt those training there will be a small assessment once you go through the assessment then the actual 6 days training you know gonna starts and in those live 6 days training uh, you will be touching base obviously there will be more coaches there will be master coaches will who will come and join you and then try to guide you through their experience not only that in the later days of training you will be touching base on the lead generation you know sales conversion how will you do that what are the strategies you going you should do when you become a coach and they'll be also uh, making your 90 days accountability plan where they'll design your 90 day strategy plan like what you have to do when you have to go to the market your go to market strategies so they'll be working on that also along with you then they will be every week they will be you know q and a sessions every week they will be enhance your knowledge sessions also on every thursday for the coaches to understand more and more you know about the programs and every you know uh, every year we do have a global conference uh, unfortunately during this pandemic we are doing this online conference it otherwise it was planned for the portugal so now we are doing it online so every year we have three days global conference where you will meet all the global coaches and your package looks like the support you'll get it you obviously get the content from our side you'll get the programs all the program you just need to figure out the kpis the problems and then come back to the brand once you come back to the brand the pra- the brand will accordingly suggest you the specific program which you have to go and then run it in your own style that program will be structured you just need to run it in your own style there will be a coach dashboard with full loads of information whether it is leaflet brochure you know all the marketing tools which you need to present it to your client after becoming a coach that will be there there will be many case studies multiple videos also which will be for your use so marketing tools will be there we'll obviously introduce you to our global coach community where whether wherever you are having any stuff any questions you are having it within no times you'll get response in that community they are very very helpful so that support will be there so our global support will be there so that is it from my side i mean uh, i know it was such a short presentation uh, it was such a brief presentation but for the detail we are having this coming monday we are having this detail webinar on this on this opportunity so i really request everybody i mean whomsoever you know uh, got little bit of interested about to know this opportunity do join on this webinar it's going to be a new business opportunity for everybody uh, we are coming to a niche market and it's growing every day so i really request people who are interested do join on this webinar i am writing my email address and my credentials on the chat box please reach out to me uh, feel free to reach out to me so i really thank you everybody for joining us here today thank you prenka thank you venus for giving the opportunity of engine grow to present their credentials thank you thank you shobhan thank you so much so uh, thank you everyone to be uh, for being so patient and uh, listening us so have a great weekend ahead and archana over to you now
Thank you so much, uh, Priyanka and Brands representative for showcasing their brands with us. Now we invite the next brand for the day. Uh, we have New York Chicken and it's a privilege to invite Mr. Ali Khali, who is representing this brand. If, if I talk about Indian market, they're already present with six outlets and they're upcoming in three more markets. Today we are talking about New York Chicken and Mr. Ali Ghani will be sharing his business and franchise idea with him. Thank you so much, Ali, for joining us today. We are excited and delighted to have you on webinar. Over to you. Thank you, Mr. Chana. Thank you very much. I'll just share my screen. Um, give me one moment, please. Sure. Yeah. How, how is my screen looking? We can see the presentation. Yes, thank okay. you so thank much. You. So I'll just take you through the presentation. And first of all, thank you to uh, Frances India as always for arranging the webinar. Um, and uh, thank you to all the attendees also uh, who are on, on uh, with us. Uh, as an introduction, um, so uh, New York Chicken, uh, we serve uh, chicken and uh, fried chicken, um, bone and chicken, uh, chicken strips, burgers, wraps, and a wide range of items. We do look at localizing menus uh, and in the markets which we are operating in, there are localized menu offerings. Uh, in terms of the number of outlets and this presentation actually wasn't updated because we recently opened our sixth outlet in India. So in terms of the Indian market, uh, we have six outlets operating uh, and developed there, uh, mainly in the state of Karnataka, uh, the cities of Mangalore, uh, Manipal and, and uh, Bangalore. Um, and uh, we have uh, three upcoming markets and we'll discuss that in further detail uh, with you uh, later on in this presentation. Um, well, New York Chicken, you know, we, we, we do always uh, focus on uh, what our unique selling point is. It's that, first of all, our product is very good. Uh, we have a very high quality standard. We focus a lot on the service. Um, and we, we actually make all orders. It's made to order. So when you order, the, pro the product is prepared for the customer. Uh, so we really try to focus on the quality and, and the experience of the customer uh, and, and what we're offering to them. Uh, in terms of the brand, New York Chicken, it's uh, expanding rapidly. Uh, over the past uh, several years, the amount of capital which we have committed for investment into the brand uh, has grown uh, are more than eightfold um, in 2019. I haven't put 2020 numbers uh, because the, as you may all know, the environment is not very clear um, with, with COVID, uh, but we do have a lot of investment uh, committed for this brand. In terms of areas which, uh, I, which our company, our company were based out of Bahrain uh, and our remit covers the markets of the Middle East and uh, Asia, South Asia. Uh, which includes India. Uh, India for us is a key market. We are focused a lot on this market and, uh, uh, and we've uh, you know, joined hands with the Franchise India team on this market. Um, in terms of development methods, and I actually included this slide just uh, to, to make sure that you understand that there are different methods that can, we can develop and enter into agreements uh, with the various parties on. For India, uh, we actually, our initial uh, view is to find a single unit or multi-unit operators. There is also an opportunity, which we've recently uh, launched with uh, franchise, the Franchise India team, is to find area developers. Uh, that uh, is a, a completely different model. It's a completely different um, uh, setup. And that uh, it, it's not for all everybody because it requires a certain uh, type of uh, uh, capital uh, investment and, and uh, infrastructure setup for it. Um, for I believe that the purposes of the attendees on, on this uh, webinar is probably more on the unit level. Uh, in other markets, for example, in Bahrain, it's a, a multi-unit agreement, an exclusive agreement for the territory. In markets such as Indonesia, we were looking at an area development uh, type of uh, model. Uh, but for India, I just want to reiterate, there are two, uh, several options to develop. You can enter into a single unit uh, a transaction where you will develop one unit or, and also multiple units, or it could be as an area developer. And, and th that, uh, if, there are if there is interest, please reach out to the franchise the team uh, to take things forward. Uh, in terms of what we offer, and this is which, which is very actually important and a lot of people ask, what do you offer as, as a brand? The most uh, important 
point and I'd like to reiterate is that the training support that we offer is training in country. So each outlet that's opened, our team will be there uh, pre-opening and post-opening for a minimum of two weeks. And that's in each store that's developed. So if you develop a store, we, we shall be there uh, with you. In India, we do have a team on the ground who supports the outlets that are developed. The support is not only at opening, there's ongoing support. Uh, we also provide the uh, layout plans for the kitchen because that's very peculiar to the, to the brand uh, and a lot of other uh, support, which in other words, our support, we will hold your hand along the way uh, that, you know, to, to make sure that everything is done as per the brand standards and to the, to, to the, the you know, to your best interests, of course. Uh, in terms of what is offered, and I did touch upon it in the beginning of the, of the presentation, that what we offer, but here are some, just some pictures which I'll, I'll take you through. Um, and we have our core menu, which is on the left of the screen uh, in yellow. That's our core menu is a menu which must be developed, which must be, sorry, offered in, in any of the markets we operate. And then we have, like, for example, on the right, this is the, the type of um, limited time offers or localized menu items which can be added. Uh, and I'll touch upon what we've done for India later on. Uh, actually, not even later on, right now. Uh, for India, we uh, launched the rice bowls, uh, which are uh, the, our very popular product called Chinatown Chicken Pop uh, with uh, rice. And this product we've developed as a localized menu offering for India. It's doing very well there. Uh, it's um, a product which is... Um, more you know localized and the, the sauce offerings can be provide uh, can be uh, chosen as per what's the requirements uh, for the local market and here are just some images of our uh, regular uh, products which are uh, on the left is our chinatown chicken pop which is like, like i said it's one of our best selling products uh, globally uh, in the center some pictures of our um, burgers so the um, this is i think our uh, big apple barbecue burger and our spanish uh, harlem burger on the right, some of our chicken wraps, uh, just some other images we have of some of our side products, our French fries uh, and our chicken pop and the Chinatown chicken pop. Um, in terms of outlets also, I just want to share some images with you about the outlets that the, and the look and feel. Uh, these are two outlets in India which were developed. Um, the, the outlet in the top left is our, late, our newest outlet in Mangalore and the bottom right also is one of our larger outlets in uh, Mangalore also. Uh, the outlets which we're looking to develop going forward are the smaller format outlets, which we believe, um, ca you know, are in the current environment um, more more appealing for, for both consumers as well as in terms of the investment requirements. Uh, we do have a format also which we've developed closely with the Franchise India team, which is the uh, dark kitchen or virtual kitchen uh, concept. Uh, format, which if you have any questions on that, please do uh, to reach out to the Franchise India team to ask because the concept is quite interesting. It's a delivery only concept, uh, mainly uh, serviced through the um, delivery aggregators like uh, Zomato and Swiggy. Uh, some other images of the outlet in India. Um, so these are different types of outlets uh, developed. Uh, you can see there's more small, smaller formats uh, and some other images also here uh, for you to see. Uh, in terms of sizes, um, uh, our smallest outlet starts at around 250 square feet and then upwards from there. In terms of marketing, so we control the uh, marketing and provide that marketing uh, for you, uh, especially in terms of the social media marketing, which is the digital marketing uh, channel. Uh, that channel is becoming ever more important. So uh, for India, for example, we have developed uh, a main page for uh, New York Chicken India, as well as sub pages for the different territories that are, are currently uh, um, uh, operating, where, where, we, where we are currently operating, as well as where, where there are plans to operate. Uh, and so all the artwork, all the images are all provided from our side and uh, the, the management of this. Um, in terms of also in India, uh, I just want to also, I thought this is good to show you, um, part of our arrangement on the commercial side with franchisees is that we have a uh, royalty uh, aspect as well as a marketing fund. So the marketing fund is contributed, uh, each franchisee contributes into that fund a certain uh, percentage of their sales, it's actually just 1%, and we reinvest that amount uh, for the franchisees. So this is an example of a recent uh, uh, campaign we've done uh, in-city branding, uh, 
this is in Mangalore, and I believe Bangalore. And this was done um, and funded from the uh, marketing fund. So the franchises didn't pay directly for this. This was our uh, reinvestment of the marketing fund. And I, I can uh, show you a few more images um, of that, just for you to have an idea. So the artwork, everything is provi provided from our side and, and the messaging, uh, we work closely with the teams, of course, uh, from the franchisee side. Some highway branding also done for India. Um, and just in terms of just the strengths of, of the brand, uh, our strength is a very appealing brand, uh, New York Chicken. Uh, we have a ongoing R&D process where we focus on what are the trending menu items today. Uh, for example, in India, we are really focused on developing and improving our vegetarian menu options, uh, including paneer uh, offerings on that side uh, and, and other vegetarian options. Uh, our uh, uh, setup cost is relatively low uh, compared to other uh, type of uh, uh, quick service restaurant offerings. Uh, and our supply chain is localized. So our supply chain in India, we've set up the supply chain to be fully localized. Uh, there are certain products which are the proprietary spice mixes for the marination and the breading and the, and the sauces. Those are provided and, and supplied by certain factories which we've contracted with. Uh, those factories uh, have agreements with the uh, uh, New York Chicken main office in the U.S. And so um, that is, con in terms of quality control, it's there. But the remaining of the supply chain is all localized, uh, of course, to certain standards. In terms of the opportunities in the market, uh, this is, has a very large um, uh, market segment. So the, the market segment for uh, New York Chicken is very large, especially in India, which is a huge market. Uh, it's, a, it's a general uh, uh, product for a general public in terms of pricing, in terms of the offering. Uh, the model is very scalable. So the franchise system and model is, is a very strong model. And I mentioned earlier that we have developed the virtual kitchen or dark kitchen concept as a format uh, which can be developed and, and looked into further. Um, I mean, the presentation was quite short. Any questions you have, uh, any, any inf information required, please do feel, uh, feel free to reach out to the Franchise India team. And uh, as I mentioned, that we do have options for unit, uh, single unit or multiple unit developments. So uh, developments of, of stores in certain areas or an area developer uh, role, which is uh, a different type of arrangement. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ali, for sharing your business idea with us. Now we... Uh... You're welcome. So we'll come back to you for one-to-one uh, -one query and more detailed discussions. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. So moving to the next brand of the day, uh, we invite Abhishek Sharma and Mr. Arnav Sena to present their business idea of Ramasis. That's the brand they are presenting today. It's India's first e-clinic business idea they'll be sharing with us. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us today. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Archana. Thank you so much uh, for the very warm welcome and delighted to be again presenting on the Franchise India platform. Uh, so before I dive into the presentation, I very quickly wanted to talk about what Remesis overall stands for and how it has shaped up, especially in the last six months. So Remesis overall stands for remote assistance. And what we are trying to do is we are setting up a chain of cloud clinics, uh, which are powered by artificial intelligence and telemedicine. Uh, for those who are not initiated into telemedicine, telemedicine is basically the art and science of helping connect a patient and doctor remotely by leveraging video technology or by leveraging telephone technology. So what we are doing is we are basically setting up proper physical brick and mortar clinics. These are your neighborhood clinics, which would be typically set up on an area of about 500 to 600 square feet. And each of these clinics is then managed by a Remesis professionally trained nurse who is responsible for, who is present physically at the clinic and is responsible for diagnosing the patient, understanding the patient's issues in the first place and bases her diagnosis, connect the patient to the relevant doctor. 
So you would have seen that in the last six months, there has been a massive uptake in telemedicine consultation, in telephonic and video consultation between doctors and patients. Patients and doctors alike are afraid to move out of their homes. They have issues. They want to get them consulted via a video call or via a telephonic discussion. But the challenge with that entire process, if you look at it, is that the success rate is pretty low. Reason being that uh, one, the big, biggest challenge is that as a patient, I have limited medical knowledge. So if somebody expects me to do a self-diagnosis, then very often the diagnosis goes wrong and I'm not able to connect with the right doctor. With remesis, we are trying to solve for exactly this problem. With When there's a remesis clinic in your neighborhood, you can walk into that clinic. You will be assisted by a nurse who will first understand your ailment. She will measure your basic vitals and then basis her own diagnosis, she would be connecting you with the right doctor who would be on the remesis platform. So now coming to the context, if you look at it, the overall telemedicine market in India is massive. It is forecasted that this market would become a $10 billion industry by 2025. But if you look at the market, especially in the last six months, you would see that the market has seen an almost 1000% growth. And this is just in India. If you look at the global market, the growth has been even more phenomenal as people want, don't want to step out and they want to have a video consultation or they want to have a clinic which is close to where they live. So with Remesis, we are setting up these neighborhood clinics. Uh, these neighborhood clinics would then be managed by a Remesis trained nurse and then she would be connecting the patient to the right doctor. Overall, also, if you look at the traditional healthcare in India, uh, the, it is right now designed to fail. A typical Indian doctor ends up spending, uh, wasting almost two and a half lakh rupees on a per year basis due to traffic issues, due to patient transition and due to cancellations. The way telemedicine has been uh, set up in India right now, that is also designed for failure. Reason being that if you look at the biggest telemedicine platforms in the country, you would realize that one, the patient has to first self-diagnose himself. So the probability of the patient going wrong is very high because he does not have the necessary medical background. Once he has self-diagnosed himself, then he's expected to go on a telemedicine platform like Practo. And then he's re required to select a doctor on his own. So as a patient, I have very limited medical knowledge. And on top of that, you're expecting me to figure out who is the right doctor for me. That is why there is a huge discontent with the current telemedicine platforms in India where almost 80% patients say that even after taking the first consultation by a video call or a telecall, they are not happy with the outcome and then they end up going to an actual physical clinic. And this is, this is happening very regularly. While the numbers have been increasing, the patient discontent has also been increasing at the same rate. So with Remesis, what we do is we have proper physical brick and mortar clinics. These are set up on about 500 to 600 square feet area. Uh, we deploy Remesis trained nurse. So these nurses are recruited by us. They are properly trained by us. They are regularly tested by us. And then they are deployed at these local, uh, local neighborhood clinics. As a patient, when you come in, she does the diagnosis and then she connects you with a doctor who is a Remesis doctor. So unlike with all other platform, which basically aggregate doctors, what we have done is we have taken it one step forward and we have these doctors on our payrolls. So these are doctors from reputed medical institutions. We also have some international doctors and they are available 24 seven to offer any form of consultation basis, the ailment that the patient is suffering from. Uh, we started this uh, model almost a year and a half back. Uh, we are running uh, six centers already in Maharashtra. Couple of them are set up inside housing societies. Couple of them are set up inside corporate parks. And then we also have a couple of standalone clinics in remote villages of Maharashtra. So this, uh, I'll very quickly show you a video which will help you understand how we are running this Remesis clinic in one of the very remote areas called Garcheroli in Maharashtra. So as you can see, this lady uh, who till about uh, 
six months back before we launched our MSS clinic in Gadchiroli. Uh, she always found it very difficult to find the right doctor because uh, Gadchiroli is a very remote location in Maharashtra and there are only a handful number of doctors that are there. So regardless of whether she liked the doctor or not, she was forced to take consultation from that doctor because she had no better option. Now with a Remesis clinic set up right at the heart of the village, she's able to consult a doctor and this particular doctor, he's a very senior doctor based out of Pune. So uh, this lady who till now had to suffer, all of a sudden has answers to all her questions because she's able to talk virtually to a doctor assisted by a Remesis nurse and the doctor is qualified enough to understand her problem and offer the diagnosis. Now this is the overall service portfolio. So at, uh, as a Remesis uh, clinic franchise operator, you have access to multiple revenue streams. So the first and the most important, which we call the bread and butter revenue, is wherein a patient walks into your clinic, uh, explains his uh, issues to the nurse, gets the diagnosis, gets the video consultation, and pays for it. The second service, which has become very, very popular in the last six months, is where patients are requesting that the Remesis nurse visit their home. And these visits, sometimes they are for consultation with the doctor, sometimes they are for administering a vaccine, or sometimes they are for a general pickup. The number of cases that we have been getting in the last six months, where especially the elderly ones are requesting a visit from the Remesis nurse has increased by almost 300%. And these are always charged at a premium. So this is another revenue stream that you as a Remesis franchise owner would have access to. A patient could also potentially reach out to you online. So if I'm someone who doesn't want to step out of, their, of my home, I can still reach a Remesis doctor online. And there would be a Remesis nurse who would also be present online, who would be helping me with the entire consultation process. Apart from this, what we have also done is that uh, uh, Remesis franchisee would also be able to offer pharmacy services as well as collection center services. So in case a doctor recommends a blood test or a urine test, a Remesis clinic would also be able to do the collection. And then we have tie-ups with diagnostic centers, which would carry out the actual test and analysis, which would be relayed back to the patient. So there's a significant margin to be made over there. Apart from that, we also have done pharmacy tie-ups. So Remesis clinic would be able to fulfill any prescription requirements that are there. What we have seen, especially in the last uh, one year, is that there is a huge change in customer delight or patient delight. All the platforms that have been developed till now, if you look at them, they have been developed from the perspective of a doctor. And the idea is to con constantly motivate and inspire the doctor to keep coming on the platform. We have changed the game. We understand that the platform has to be built from a patient perspective. And that is why if you look at the NPS score that we have been able to generate with Remesis, it's in excess of 80. So as a result of which, what we are seeing is that on a daily basis, the number of delighted patients that we have has been increasing. The waiting time have become zero. You don't have, you can schedule an appointment in just 30 seconds. You don't have to choose a doctor. The platform will decide who's the right doctor for you. You don't have to decide your ailment. The platform will decide what is the right ailment. And the entire technology, all the information, all the prescriptions, all the recommendations are directly stored on the cloud. So you as a patient don't have to carry the exhaustive paperwork. Just by logging on, on the platform, you can easily pull down all your reports. This is the broad franchise model. What we are looking at is about 500 square feet area. The total investment in the model is about 9 lakh rupees. Out of this 6 lakh rupees is the investment in setting up of the entire clinic and all the infrastructure, all the equipments that would be there inside the clinic. So as a franchisee, you would be getting almost 100 different kind of equipments, uh, medical consumables and medical non-consumables inside the clinic, which would help a, pay, a nurse diagnose and monitor a patient. And 3 lakh rupees is our franchise fee. The agreement would be valid for a five-year duration. And the graph that you're seeing, which are basically the sales figure and the profit and loss graph, this is based on real-time performance of our clinics that have been operational for the last uh, year and a half. It would typically take you about three months to become operationally profitable. Uh, but by the time you are in the first year itself, you're, you, would be, you would have already made about six lakh in terms of profit. So you would be able to recoup your initial investment of nine 
lakh odd rupees in about 15 months and we foresee that over a period of five years you should be able to have a return on investment which is going to be in excess of 600 percent now talking about the support infrastructure that we have developed we also understand that a lot of you would not be coming from a medical background but the beauty of the model is that it does not necessarily require you to be a medical professional all the medical heavy lifting would be done by the remesis team the doctors are on our payrolls as a franchisee you do not have to share in the salaries of the doctors the medical infrastructure the technology that has been developed that is all fully owned by us we do the job of finding the right nurse recruiting them deploying them at your clinic the technology that we have access to it's our proprietary technology and unlike majority of the telemedicine service providers in the market today who are basically using the third party service providers like whatsapp video calling or zoom calling uh, the entire technology in our case has been developed from scratch by us so all the confidential data that you are going to be sharing with the doctor or with the nurse would always remain protected would always remain on the cloud we will help you in terms of uh, generating patients for you we would be helping in terms of promoting your clinic in your neighborhood in your city and we will make sure that you are able to maximize the throughput from your clinic most importantly it is our, our nurses are trained on the patient delight so it is their responsibility to constantly pursue the patient and make sure that he's responding to the treatment so that's it from my side uh, lastly i would like to say healthcare is one of the biggest beneficiaries of covid 19 telemedicine is seeing a growth which is more than 1000% in just the last 6 months and the number of patients who have been reaching out to telemedicine platforms in the last 6 to 9 months due to covid 19 has increased almost exponentially so there couldn't be a better time to invest in a healthcare opportunity than this and abhishek and i are looking forward to having any questions that you have right now or we would be happy to get in touch with you any time in future uh, abhishek any concluding thoughts from you i think uh, uh, we are we are seeing a, a wonderful time we are in a wonderful time where uh, this telemedicine has taken the market by storm and i think uh, it's the right time to invest in this kind of technology uh, the only thing that that uh, the piece that is missing today in telemedicine is you know the adoption and the way we want to deliver this technology through a you know service led model right because uh, pure cut technology uh, standalone will not really suffice uh, the complete market and we have to come together to deliver this as a you know brick and mortar plus uh, telemedicine setup uh, that is where we can you know make the reach much more uh, larger and uh, can take it to much more bigger audience right with this i think uh, i'll conclude on my remarks thank you all for hearing us and i think we are here to take in questions if you have thank you so much arnab thank you so much abhishek uh, for giving your presentation and, and sharing your business idea with us thank you so much thank you so uh, arnab we request you to stay tuned with us uh, because um, we would like to have interaction again with you sure sure thank you so much so moving to next brand now i invite uh, raju cs he is representing the crepe cafe the brand which is all day dining the brand which follows the all day dining concept they are already present with 50 plus outlets globally and they are known for their crafts the first uh, brand uh, the first store was established in 2001 thank you so much raju for joining us just give me one minute i'll share my screen for you Yeah, thank you so much, Raju, for joining us. Uh, I think my screen is visible. We can start with your presentation. Raju, you need to unmute. Uh. Yes, you got it now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. And first of all, I would like to say to Franchise India, like, you know, give a good platform to explore our brand, first of all. And Mr. Gaurav, Archana, Thanks to you all. And the Crepe Cafe started like 2001 in Australia with a small uh, kiosk. Then in 2006, we brought this brand to Middle East and we explained like uh, full dining models. We have now 23 branches all over Middle East like uh, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Oman. And India last year we started over here like Delhi 
कलकत्ता हैदराबाद बैंगलोर एंड रिसेंटली वी ओपन इन रांची आल्सो एंड नाउ इज रिसेंटली ओपन इन इजिप्ट आल्सो वी आर गोइंग फॉर वेरी फास्ट लाइक विद अ प्लस 50 आउटलेट्स एंड अर्चना लाइक यू नो कैन यू जॉइन विद मिस्टर राहुल so he has still not joined the webinar i is not joined so you can continue sir okay uh, okay so uh, now we are just you know expanding uh, our models to india like you know we have a three four models uh, first of all the kiosk models and we have uh, like 100 200 to 200 square feet we have second model like you know 350 to 500 and 750 to 1000 and th more than 1000 square feet with uh, beer and wine beer and wine so we are just looking for uh, the master franchises you know uh, all over states or metros over here okay so the carpet area like you know is showing like a 750 square feet that's what third models uh, it's cost like uh, 50 50 to 60 lakhs the first model like uh, you know uh, the kiosk like 100 and 200 100 to 200 square feet it's cost like uh, 100 uh, i'm sorry 10 lakhs and below and second model it's uh, quite uh, 25 lakhs and 1000 uh, plus models is like uh, you know 70 70 lakhs the roe is like uh, you know 18 18 months to 24 months our beauty of the concept is like uh, uh the food cost is 27 including the packaging will be 30 uh all the vendors are from india itself we don't have any any vendors from out of india like we have to get it back uh, all the premix from our vendors is when all the local uh, local vendors and all, all all other items so sonia so uh, i mean uh, archana that what all details we have to explain hello so we can go slide by slide if you want me i can yeah, go to the first slide other again slide. can you put other, other other slide sure so we have a, like a sweet sweet crepes and savory crepes a wide range of uh, pancakes waffles we have a lot of uh, beverages omelets we have we uh, we added like paninis our coffee is the best uh, best in town french sandwiches we have we used to have like 25% of beverage uh, uh, beverage and 75% of uh, food items the average uh, ticket per hour is the, i mean 350 like uh, let's say around the one crepe and one drinks like uh, 350 to 400 we have a strong breakfast menu and the food all, all uh, i mean the breakfast uh, breakfast lunch and the evening delights also we have nice sweet crepes okay hey, you put any, uh, other slides please this all like you know many outlets so uh, uh, this uh, this is like a saudi arabia we have two three see you can see right hand side kiosk models and highest sale of uh, one of the shop in saudi arabia is nearly 4 lakhs plus per day that's very very uh, uh, huge uh, sale of per shop average sale is like you know like um, uh, what we have average sales in india like 20 to 20 25000 per day as per our experience but we don't have that much experience like you know last year only we open some of the outlets suddenly the covid issues is come so we we, uh, we have a uh, like a three four months we have a good experience in crepe coffee like you know uh, 20 25000 per day Do you have any other slides, uh, Archana?
so first of all we don't have a direct competition over in india uh, the crepe uh, you know the waffle and pancake there's the beautiful things that we can go ahead with a, uh, you know uh, this concept and the food cost uh, food cost wise is you know very reasonable food cost like you know we can uh, our our food cost is like below below 30% that means it's great and our net profit margin is 20 to 25 percentage and the preparation so we don't need any separate kitchen for that one the outlet itself it's like you know just a small counter it's an open counter so we don't need any separate kitchen that's the beautiful things and we have a range of uh, products uh, uh, very strong menu we have or all, all the items like a sweet crepes uh, people it's uh, they like uh, this sweet uh, sweet delights okay so that this is the things i would like to say explain to i mean now uh, the detailed uh, presentation of crepe cafe archana there is any uh, anything thank you thank you so much uh, for joining us today thank you so much we really thank appreciate you. that thank you so now we invite the next brand uh, we have mr siddharth kukrecha who is presenting vision express a joint venture between reliance retail and grand vision it's the once destination for all your eye care needs they are already present in 70 in 40 plus countries and they enjoy the legacy of 120 plus years thank you so much siddharth for joining us today we will share your presentation Over to you, Siddharth. Siddharth, you need to unmute yourself. So that you need to unmute yourself. We are really sorry. I think Siddharth is facing some technical problem. Now we move to the next brand. We invite Kush Vijal, who is representing new stencil for all of us. So thank you so much, uh, Kush, for joining us today. You can share your presentation. We'll come back to you, Siddharth. कुछ आपको अनम्यूट करना पड़ेगा। Sorry for this, yeah. Hi everyone, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Uh, my name is uh, Kush Bijal. I'm the founder uh, of Neo Stencil. Uh, a quick background about myself, uh, then we'll uh, move on to Neo Stencil. Uh, I hail from Jaipur, and then I uh, did my schooling uh, from Jaipur. Uh, uh, did my B.Tech from IIT Bombay. Uh, after that, I worked for a couple of years in the financial study, uh, financial sector as a derivatives trader, uh, as an iBanker. And post that, I did my MBA from IIM Calcutta. And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, my venture that I started in 2014. Uh, we set up the US entity first. It's a Delaware incorporated company, uh, EdTech uh, Venture. Uh, and then in 2014, December, we set up the Indian entity to uh, run a full-fledged Indian operations. Uh, so Neo Stencil is basically an ed tech platform uh, which helps a student uh, prepare for various competitive exams, including UPSC, 
gate civil services judicial services gate and so on uh, and on the other end we help the top teachers of the country uh, from various coaching hubs like new delhi kota and hyderabad uh, come on the platform uh, so we basically help the two people uh, who deserve to meet meet on a common platform uh, i'll just quickly run uh, through a very very simple uh, very short uh, video uh, which which will just take us 5 uh, 6 minutes and we'll, then we'll jump on to um, the plan that we have on rolling out digital centers across india so uh, uh, can can i share the screen archana kush you can you have all the rights got it thanks audio
so this was uh, this, so this was a, a short video on what what we do uh, and now so till now we were uh, we were a digital platform and which where we when we were connecting the top teachers and the students uh, live online on a platform but uh, now this opportunity uh, has been there in, is there uh, in front of us for last 6 months you know students are demanding uh, for a blended mode of learning a hybrid model of learning wherein they get the the online classes from the top teachers but uh, they would also want to come to a to a physical center wherein they can you know interact with a with a teaching assistant wherein they can interact with their peers so till uh, in online only yes content the piece of content uh, we were able to address that uh, by putting the content online uh, but the piece of interactivity and peer to peer learning is something which we want to address now through a blended mode of learning and uh, with the help of franchise india team uh, we are rolling out digital centers across india which will be based on uh, a two this is this is basically called as two teacher system you know wherein the the main classes from the faculty will be streamed uh, from one center centralized center and then there will be a junior teacher available in these centers to address the interactivity you know uh, and the doubt resolutions and the counseling and these centers uh, these uh, offline uh, digital centers uh, from the franchisee mode will also have uh, a library or a discussion floor wherein students can come in and interact among themselves access the standard textbooks and magazines so this is going to be a two floor uh, you know franchisee model that we are uh, rolling out across india and enter into a blended mode of learning and why i am entering into this uh, segment i'll just give quickly show you enter uh, show you uh, i'll show you a model which has worked immensely in china and this is called as uh, this is called as two teacher system you know and uh, when everybody was going online in china almost 9 10 years back you know when everybody was going online this is the kind of blended mode of learning which came out as winner so when i say two teacher system it is exactly like this that you know that the top teacher from a centralized location will be teaching the main course of upsc ias or je or neat but there will be a junior local teacher available who will be there to you know answer your queries then and there so uh, it basically takes the overhead of the star teachers you know human resource cost that will be taken borne by the um, you know by the brand uh, and then there, so i'll just quickly go through uh, so we look at the point number 3 here the training centers who will provide the physical location and assistant teachers as well as uh, recruit the students so the franchisees will have uh, the responsibility of choosing the physical location uh, recruit the assistant teacher and as well as uh, enroll the students and this is this model was adopted by the top companies in china by the name of new oriental and tel education group and if you look at these companies these companies have around 1000 such centers across china 1000 each and they are thrice as big as uh, byju's in terms of valuations and probably you know uh, probably around 8 to 10 times more in the terms of in terms of revenue from these centers and 80 90% of the revenues are coming from these blended centers so this is the model that we are looking to go into uh, uh, and i'll just quickly go through the presentation also uh, that we have prepared uh, so i'll just start from the slide one of course we are we are we are parent entities delaware incorporated that's where we did our product development uh, and that's where we also raised our angel round from us uh, family fund um fund from japanese also in uh, japanese uh, singapore based japanese vc mns partners also participated then we also raised fund from times of india so we are company backed by times of india group of indias and after that uh, so so this year this year all india i'll just i'll take this slide it is there yeah so 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 this is this is the broad metrics that we have we have around 500 courses for various competitive exams on our platform uh, 30000 for the way we are still at the same uh, slide so sure. uh, are we on the ppt right now presentation uh, no it's uh, not no presentation oh okay okay got it got it just a second thanks for that yeah so th so this is uh, where we are today we have around 500 plus uh, courses on the platform and we host around 30000 uh, videos on the platform for various competitive exams we have partnered with around 100 plus uh, top institutes top coaching institutes uh, coming from new delhi from kota from hyderabad pune uh, as far as trivandrum 
for various state level exams and till date we have around 11 uh, lakh registered students of course the paid students is around 10 percent is around uh, around 100000 students so this is where we are entering into a low cost low cost franchisee opportunity and the returns we are going to talk in the next slide we established ourselves in 2014 as i said uh, in the us first and then with regional offices in gurgaon delhi hyderabad and jaipur um, we provide live online classes, study material, uh, counseling, doubt sessions, and test series. So it's basically a one-stop comprehensive platform for all your exam preparation needs. And it was launched to solve the basic and major problem of accessibility to education in India. So till now, we were telling students to study from their devices, from their home. But with franchisees, we are going to tell them that, hey, uh, you can come out and go to these centers and we'll bring you the best of the faculty from Delhi or Kota or wherever possible. Uh, so our vision vision is to make uh, is to build india's largest largest exam preparation chain uh, on the lines of chinese giants you know which made it possible in china the mission is to make the quality education accessible and affordable to all irrespective of their physical and financial capacities so we we provide 24 7 so uh, students who will join in these franchises will also be getting access to the online platform and they can access the classes 24 7 and there will be a monthly interaction with a past topper We'll provide the live classes live. There will be a weekly interactive counseling session by the expert counselors uh, from Delhi or Kota. The study material will be provided in soft and hard copy. There will be test series as well, which is part of the program. Uh, so under one roof of these franchisees, we'll be offering these uh, nine, 10 courses. Um, so until now, there were franchisees coaching which were rolling out their franchisees, wherein they were deputing the teachers. But in those uh, previous models, under one roof, it will be just CA coaching or IES coaching. But Neo Stencil being that aggregator of multiple exams, uh, under one roof, we'll be offering eight to nine courses so that, so that we will be able to monetize our infrastructure and overheads better. Neo Stencil students have secured ranks in top 20 in the UPSC exam for last uh, four years. Uh, and this is um, the, our flagship product. Last year's Pradeep Singh, uh, our online student, secured All India rank one. And he's a, he's a son of a farmer, very humble, humble student, hails from a small village. And it is from his village that he prepared for IES and cracked All India rank one. He's definitely a role, a role model for the country, you know, wherein and there are different testimonials that he has given to print media on YouTube uh, about us, how Neo Stencil, uh, you know, bridges that gap of haves and have nots. And his, Neo Stencil is bringing the India and the Bharat closer through the online uh, courses. Similarly, Soumya and Namrata. Namrata was also a very uh, you know, smart girl, but from Dantevada, a Naxalite area in Chhattisgarh. But her courage were you know, as big as, as huge as anyone. And she secured All India Rank 5 uh, in 2017. Similarly, we had other students who were secured in rank in Indian engineering services and state civil services like RAS. Um, so, so coming to the financial model, we are looking uh, for uh, fr uh, rolling, uh, rolling out the franchises, the digital, fr digital centers. Uh, minimum square feet area is going to be 1200 square feet, which will basically be a two floor. In the one floor, students will come and attend the classes physically, and the online classes will be displayed on projector on LEDs. In the second floor, uh, it will be kind of a discussion floor or a library where students will come and interact among themselves. Uh, the investment we are targeting is around 18 to 19 lakhs. Uh, out of this, uh, 5 lakh is going to be the franchisee fee. The remaining 13 to 14 lakhs will be spending on uh, the design element, you know, putting up the furniture, putting up uh, the inter interiors, putting up the equipments, the LEDs in the projectors. Because across India, we want to have same, uh, you know, UI, basically UI UX uh, for the offline world. We want to have the same centers designed across uh, India so that if somebody goes in Amritsar or somebody goes to Jodhpur, he finds the same experience and the same teacher from one centralized location being displayed in all these centers. Uh, the agreement period we're targeting is five years. Of course, we can, uh, I mean, I think the team suggested it to increase it to nine years. And there is a huge investment uh, uh, in terms of return that we're targeting in the five years. It's going to be around 475% because coaching, uh, education and coaching is a very premium product and it's very, very price inelastic. I mean, if you're, if you're delivering the quality education, students don't mind paying 100,000 or 150,000 rupees uh, for a coaching for IES or IIT. Uh, so I'm, I'm open to the uh, Q&A, uh, uh, if any questions there, and you know, we can. So Archana, I think. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much yeah. Push, uh, for sharing your business idea with us. Uh, we are really always delighted to have you on any of the webinar. Thank you so much. And thank sure. you for that connecting Bharat and India together. Thank you so much. Sure. Thanks. 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 So now we invite Siddharth. Siddharth is back. So thank you so much, Siddharth, for 
joining i'll just share the screen for you ha uh, hello arjuna i'm just sharing a screen for you siddharth yeah sure sure would you like to share no you can go ahead and share yeah please uh, it's there on your screen hi uh, this is uh, siddharth here from reliance vision express uh, i would like to welcome you all to this uh, webinar uh, so we are excited to bring you our franchise model this model has been created by a board to ensure that uh, very uh, uh, to ensure that various investors can uh, use an opportunity uh, to uh, to to get along with uh, reliance vision express and uh, uh, and grow uh, along with us vision express in india is basically a joint venture between reliance retail and grand vision Grand Vision is a global retailer in optical retail with over 7000 outlets in 44 countries uh, with over 120 years in optical retail Grand Vision services over 150 million customers every year next slide Archana Reliance Retail is a part of Reliance Industries as the only Indian retailer in the top uh, 100 global retailers list and among the fastest growing retailer globally uh our group chairman mr mukesh ambani ji and his family has taken this company through unprecedented growth and the group has delivered a compound return um, on equity in excess of 20% since inception and today is a 150 billion dollar company here you see the various verticals under the reliance group next slide uh, archana yeah this is the various uh, verticals we are under the reliance group uh you can go to the next slide uh those started in 2006 reliance retail has grown to be uh, become india's uh, largest retailer with over a lakh employees present in across 6700 cities occupying a total retail area of 2, uh, 23 million square feet this is not including the recent purchase of the future group yeah uh, so under reliance retail uh, we have uh, various verticals uh, where you can see uh, we are present in uh, digital fashion uh, lifestyle jewelry and even uh, premium luxury and retail under the reliance brands reliance brands uh, next slide archana yeah reliance brands was uh, formed mainly to partner with international brands that were looking to enter uh, the indian market today over 50 brands are under the reliance brands umbrella uh, that is in the next slide yeah so you can see the uh, brands which are under the reliance brands so some of the uh, largest leading uh, brands globally uh, in india are uh, run by reliance in india uh, so uh, vision express two is a part of the reliance brands this is vision express vision express in india has been delivering superior high quality and affordable eye care to the people for over 10 years now all our stores have certified optometrists who ensure quality and accurate eye checkup we carry the latest designs in eyewear and our products range include spectacles that's in the next slide yeah so our products range includes uh, spectacles sunglasses contact lenses and accessories so basically it's a one destination for all your eye care needs yeah next slide yeah so you see our presence here uh, so we are present across 135 uh, stores in 24 cities uh, basically covering um, most of india and now with the help of the franchise model we would uh, like to cover the rest of the country yeah uh, some of our in house brands include uh, julius mckinnon dbd sensaya 
I, some of uh, a couple of our next slides are basically our models, uh, our latest models, so uh, for you to go through. Uh, next slide, Sanat, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, those are some of our uh, uh, models that uh, you could see. Uh, that we had. Uh, Vision Express runs a successful, uh, uh, we are present, uh, basically the, uh, we are present online and uh, we are present on these platforms, NetMet, Agio, and uh, soon we are launching Vision Express dot in, uh, where you can uh, buy your uh, glasses online for, uh, with us. Next slide, Rajana. We also run a successful corporate care program where we provide uh, comprehensive eye tests at the premise of our corporates. Some of our large corporates uh, include Amul, ICSA, and Infosys, Tata. You can go to the next slide. Yeah, these are some of our uh, corporates with whom we have uh, tie ups. Now we'll talk to you about the franchise model and we're excited to bring you that. Our franchise model comes with an investment of about 35 lakhs, which you can see is broken up, uh, which is broken as uh, you see on the screen. The prospective uh, franchisee would need to invest approximately 20 lakhs on the furniture, fixtures and eye equipment. We have estimated uh, the lease security deposit uh, about, of about 5 lakhs to be paid to the landlord. That is in case the property does not uh, belong to the franchisee. Otherwise, he does not need to pay this amount. A further 10 lakhs is a security deposit that needs to be given to Vision Express, which shall be refunded at the end of the franchise period. In our franchise model, the stock uh, provided to the franchisee is on a consignment basis. Hence, the franchisee does not need to deal with the dead stock as the stock will be uh, on an auto replacement uh, replenishment model where we could uh, know the model which is sold and uh, easily re uh, replace this once it's sold. The strength of Vision Express has been its operations and processes. Hence, our franchise model ensures that the in-store processes are not compromised. The, prospect the prospective franchisee will uh, need to ensure the store rent, salary of the employees and the operating expenses like electricity, and housekeeping would need to be taken care of. In return, Vision Express ensures that the store manager's salary is taken care of by us. Vision Express would ensure that the promotion it runs in all, uh, in all its uh, stores is the same that it runs in the franchise store and the marketing spend we do in all our stores is the same that we spend on the franchise store. And now for the best part, Vision Express offers 35% of its monthly net sales value to the franchisee. Simply put, uh, the previous month's net sales as per the system is calculated and 35% of the same is shared with the franchisee. Well, with our calculations, uh, next slide, Archan. Yeah, this is correct. Well, with our uh, calculations, we estimate that the payback uh, of the investment made by the franchisee happens within three to three and a half years. The estimated yearly uh, rate of return over the five-year period would be approximately 15%, meaning you could look at almost doubling your money over the five-year period. What do we look at when we look at a property for uh, a franchise store? For a Vision Express store, we expect a property to be about 400 to 600 square feet carpet area with a minimum of 15 feet frontage for good visibility. Ideally, the property should be located in the optical zone of a particular market with easy access to the customers. Assume rent we have taken for calculation is about 150 rupees per square feet. This could vary between locations depending on the market availability and potential. Initially, for this size store, we have assumed three staff, one optometrist manager on company roles and two staff, that is one salesperson and another optometrist on the roles of the employee. That's the franchisee. So you see, it's a simple model. 
where the prospective uh, franchisee just needs to ensure that the uh, employees are motivated and perform and that the and the discuss expenses are taken care of and our model can possibly deliver handsome returns so thank you archana is there any questions that we need may need to take please do let me know so thank you so much sudarth for joining with uh, delhi come back to you sure thank you so much so we invite our last but not the least brand of the day you clean and we have again arnab and arnab thank you so much for staying with us and um, it's always delighted to share your story with all our investors is representing ukraine it's india's largest laundry and cleaning solution brand the brand which was established almost around 3 and 1/2 ago and they have already signed 50 plus franchises with this introduction i invite uh, arnab sena to share his business idea with us thank you so much thank you archana uh, excited to be back again on the platform and uh, this time representing another industry which has been positively impacted which is the cleaning industry and especially with the onset and the growth of covid-19 in the last 6 months people have started caring more about cleanliness and hygiene and that is one reason why you clean group has been one of the biggest uh, beneficiaries from the covid-19 situation our journey started about 3 uh, and a half years back when we launched our first couple of laundry stores in the national capital region of delhi and uh, for the first 6 months uh, the time was spent more on building the business creating operations manuals creating operating procedures and uh, we started franchising around mid of uh, 2017 so we have been franchising for the last almost 3 years and uh, as archana said we are now india's largest laundry chain so we have about 250 franchisees across 55 cities of india and we have also opened our first international locator location in kathmandu which went live during the covid time uh, i'll talk about the other group companies and a couple of very exciting associations which we have done in the last uh, one year or so but there are a couple of things that i would like to first talk about and which i feel make you clean stand apart from all the other services company that exist in the cleaning segment right now in india one is that despite being a franchise model and despite having a presence in almost 55 cities of india we enjoy a customer delight rating of 4.4 on a scale of 5 while the general uh, customer rating if you look at it on google or facebook for the laundry industry or the cleaning industry hovers anywhere between 3 to 3 and a half so there is one thing that we as a team have realized that this laundry if you talk about laundry in particular laundry is one business where the same customer keeps coming back to you week after week that is how high the customer repeat frequency is so it is very important to constantly stay focused on delighting the customer so that he can always find a reason to come back to you and outsource your laundry to you the second thing which personally i am very proud about is the fact that we have a franchise repeat rate of 20% so despite being just 3 and a half years old as a brand we have 20% of our franchisees who have gone on to invest in more than one unit so people started off with one unit they liked what they saw they liked the returns that they were getting they liked the kind of footfalls that were being generated and the kind of support that we as a brand were offering them and they took the decision to invest in more than one units so almost 20% of our franchisees in the system today across india have invested in more than one unit now I, if i talk about uclean in particular we are basically a laundry brand so what we do is we offer laundry and dry cleaning services ours is a very hyper local neighborhood kind of a concept so what you need is about 250 to 300 square feet of space in your typical neighborhood market you need access to water you need access to electricity and then on the same store we can set up a live laundry store so you would have the laundry machine inside the store you would have a steam iron table inside the store you will have the computer printer and other paraphernalia which are required to run the store successfully and you would have a three member team this entire team of three members which includes a store manager uh, an iron man and a de delivery boy 
these would be recruited by us for you and these would be trained by us for you and then they would be deployed at your store. So out of this 250 to 300 square feet with a team of three people, you can start offering laundry and dry cleaning to customers that are living within two to three kilometers radius of your store. The total investment entailed in setting up a Uclean is about 14 lakhs, which comprises of one laundry machine, one steam iron table, the other paraphernalia that go along with a typical Uclean unit. Our franchise fee is about five lakh rupees and the cost of setting up the entire store is about four lakh rupees. This includes the civil work, the plumbing, the electrical, all the branding, the signages, etc. So in about 14 lakh rupees, you can start a Uclean unit from a space of about 250 to 300 square feet in your typical neighborhood market. What you're seeing uh, is the typical performance and this is uh, the average performance, the average historical performance of existing Uclean stores. So what you will notice is that it takes a store about three months to become operationally profitable. By the time the store is about nine to 10 months old, the store is able to generate sales in excess of three lakh rupees per month and your profit margin on that is about 40%. So a store that is making sales of about three and a half to four lakh rupees per month, after removing all the expenses, you would be able to take about 1.5 to 1.6 lakh rupees per month. And this is what you can achieve with a single machine. So at once you have started making this kind of return on your investment, you would have the opportunity to install additional machines in the same setup without paying any additional franchise fee. A typical Uclean unit takes about 15 months to recoup the initial investment of 14 lakhs that a franchisee would be making in setting up a unit. The biggest advantage and a couple of things that really stand out is that if you look at the laundry industry in particular, it is estimated to be a 75 to $80 billion size industry. This is how huge this industry is and 97 to 98% of it is unorganized, controlled by the local dhobis. Now with the onset of COVID-19, what is happening is that a lot of customers that were traditionally associated with the local dhobis for multiple reasons, they are all now migrating to UP stores because there is an enhanced sense of concern around hygiene, around safety and around cleanliness. So all our stores which are operational right now and almost all the stores are now running, what we are seeing is that all of a sudden, a lot of new customers are getting added. The customers that typically used to use, uh, used to have the local Dhobi as their service provider are now all migrating to UP because they want to get, want to be assured about the hygiene. They want to be transparent about the kind of setting that we have. Uh, what has also happened in the process is that fascinated by the UP road story, uh, we have recently partnered with FedEx. What this partnership now entails is that every Uclean franchisee now also has the option to have a FedEx franchisee within the same unit. As everyone would know, FedEx is the world's largest courier logistics and delivery company, an $80 billion giant company, which in the past has done co-franchising with only a limited number of brands like Walmart, Walgreens and 7-Eleven. Seeing the growth story of Uclean and seeing how we had quickly scaled the brand, how we had achieved a very high level of franchise satisfaction and customer delight, FedEx has, for the first time in their history, decided to partner with a startup for co-franchising. Now, the beauty of this entire co-franchising exercise is that you can actually have a FedEx inside a Uclean store at just 15% of the investment that you would have to make if you decided to take a standalone FedEx franchisee. So if you wanted to opt for a standalone FedEx franchisee, you would end up investing about 3,60,000 rupees. You would also have to rent out a minimum of 100 square feet shop space, and you would have to maintain a two member team to run that FedEx franchisee. But if you're an existing Uclean franchisee, you can take the same FedEx franchisee in just 60,000 rupees, out of which 30,000 is fully refundable. You don't have to hire any additional space you will be running the FedEx out of the existing Uclean franchisee. You don't have to hire any additional manpower. The existing Uclean team would be trained on how to handle the FedEx customers. So now you are getting the power of FedEx combined with Uclean and you could have both the units together from the same setup. The 30,000 that you're going to invest because of the kind of uh, reputation that FedEx enjoys and the support of Uclean, you should be able to recover that investment in just a couple of months.
the another brand and another very interesting opportunity that we have partnered and this has been a a, a venture that we had been working on for a very long time is our recent partnership with a company called Kemdry Kemdry is the world's largest surface cleaning company and by surface cleaning i mean carpet cleaning upholstery cleaning washroom cleaning kitchen cleaning full home deep cleaning car wash car dry cleaning all these are services that come as a part of kemdry kemdry globally is the number one brand when it comes to uh, surface cleaning services they are also the top 20 most franchised brand in the world with a presence across almost 60 countries of the world with more than 5000 franchises you clean group in 2019 have signed a master franchise agreement with kemdry for entire india and now we are further sub franchising the brand across the country uh, the good thing about kemdry is that this is a zero rental model so you don't have to rent out any space all you need is a maruti eco kind of a van you would have all the equipment you will have all the chemicals inside the van your team will be inside the van and they will be moving from one location to another carrying out whatever service is being requested so your rentals would be zero in this business your electricity bills would be zero your water bills will be zero so that is why kemdry is a model tends to become profitable in the first month itself kemdry all the equipment and the chemicals that you would get as part of a kemdry franchisee these are globally patented so kemdry has 51 equipment and chemicals that have a global patent and only a kemdry franchisee has access to these equipment and chemicals last 6 to 7 months have been a massive boon for kemdry because there has been a huge demand for sanitization and disinfection services globally and kemdry is the only company in the world that has manufactured a chemical with which has received an fda approval which claims that it can kill covid-19 virus with 99.9% efficiency the overall kemdry model like i said before does not require you to rent out any shop space all you need is a four wheeler like a maruti eco which has enough space for storing the equipment and the chemicals and space for four team members to be seated your investment in setting up a kemdry is about 15 lakh rupees out of this 10 lakh rupees is the invest in the equipment and the chemicals accessories and uniforms 5 lakh is our one time franchise fee for giving you the rights to certain pin codes for kemdry you would need a four wheeler and the agreement is going to be exclusive so there are certain pin codes which would be awarded to you and you and only you would be able to run or to offer all kemdry services in those pin codes we expect the break even to happen in 15 months we started kemdry operations officially in december 2019 and uh, we are already seeing that our franchisees should be able to break even by early 2021 the biggest advantage if you look at it is today that the same customer that is uh, availing you clean services that is availing laundry and dry cleaning services at some point in time also requires the services of kemdry so they would need a sofa cleaning they would need a car wash they would need a full home deep cleaning and a lot of customers that we are getting for kemdry today they are actually existing uclean customers that are being recommended by uclean only so there is an already set business that is in place we only need a franchisee who can manage his team and who can ensure that services are being executed in the proper manner and right on time there is absolutely no competition in india the only players that exist are very local players who don't have access to the technology who don't have the right kind of equipment or the chemicals or the right kind of training uh, this is the overall support system that we offer to any franchise whether you are a uclean franchisee or a kemdry franchisee or if you are taking a uclean fedex co franchisee uh, we are largely a technology led company i myself come from a technology background i have done my engineering from iit bombay and i have a very strong technology and digital marketing team so the software that we would be providing you as part of uclean you can literally run your entire business out of that software it's your billing software it's your crm software it helps you manage your supply chain so literally sitting out of melbourne you can actually run your store located in a city like patna in india with absolute transparency uh, we take care of complete digital marketing we understand that this is one business where customers like to place the order through the uclean app or to the website 
So we constantly promote the any particular Euclean store on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Google AdWords. Apart from this, we would also help you in promoting your store by doing hyper local marketing. We also understand that it would be difficult for you to recruit blue collar manpower in India. So it is hundred percent our responsibility to recruit the people for you to train them and to deploy them at your business unit. We, in terms of Euclean, we in fact help you in finding the right location, making sure that the location is suitable from a technical perspective as well as from a market potential perspective. In summary, if you look at it, what we are seeing is that the last six to seven months have been very distressing for the overall industry, especially the restaurants, the budget hotels, the gyms and fitness chains, salons and spa, preschools, they have all been struggling. And now that the markets are opening up, all these institutions are trying to win the confidence of the customers. So what we are seeing is that a lot of these preschools, hotels, gyms and fitness chains, they are reaching out to us where they are requesting Euclean and Kenbry to come in and sanitize and deep clean their premises, disinfect their premises. But not only that, what they also want is that after deep cleaning and sanitizing their premises, they also want a certificate from us which clearly spells out that uh, the premise has been disinfected and sanitized by ChemDry or the cleaned and sanitized by Euclean. And they would like to properly flaunt these certificates in the reception area so that any customer who walks in, he gets the confidence that he has walked into a properly sanitized and disinfected space. So this is the biggest advantage that we are seeing uh, being present in a space that is largely uh, very localized with the competition being the bare minimum. A lot of these uh, chains are now looking up to Euclean and Kendry to help them win the confidence of their customer. So cleaning industry is one of those rare industries which has been highly positively impacted by the COVID-19 situation. And we're absolutely looking forward to partners like you so that we can take this brand much further into India. So very happy to take up any questions that anyone might have. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Arnav. Thank you. It's always great to share and listen to you. Thank you uh, for sharing your insights about Ukraine, about Kemdrai. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you all the participants who have joined us uh, today. Now we will invite our panel member, Ms. Sonia Chaudhary and Venus Barat uh, for the final project. Thank you so much, Sonia, ma'am. Uh, we would like you invite you for the final closure along with Venus. I'd like to thank all our friends uh, for being with us uh, for the last almost uh, three odd hours. And uh, these opportunities were especially selected between international and Indian companies. And these are all credible Indian companies who have been successfully running for many years, credible companies like Reliance, Neo Stencil, run by ITNs. So I would request everyone, I'm not too sure if you had the time to uh, see all opportunities presented. We also have a Facebook Live, which is happening. Any opportunity that you want to share or maybe uh, see a recording of, kindly go on the Franchise India Brands page to see. And if you have any queries, kindly also reach out to our hotline number. We'll be more than happy to get you connected with any brand that you think you would want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with. With this, I wish everybody a very great day and a weekend ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, over to you, Venus, uh, for your final word. Um, no, thank you so much, uh, Sonia and Archana and everybody. I echo what Sonia has mentioned. I think uh, it can be quite overwhelming to have so much of content so it's there on the Facebook Live and uh, uh, we would be more than happy to uh, sort of hear back from you and help you uh, uh, to if you're interested in any brands, uh, which Fran Global, of course, and Franchise India has represented. Uh, ultimately, we want to expand on our NRI community, both in India and, uh, and across the world. 
Uh, we look forward to having the next uh, 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 NRI series and uh, uh, have a good have a good weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Over to you, Archana. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Thanks all the branch participants who have put in effort and time to represent their business idea with us. We would like to extend our thanks to our panel member, Ms. Sonia Chaudhary and Ms. Venus Parag for sharing their ad advice, suggestion with each one of us. You can reach out to uh, at our business hotline number, which is 97176-8388. That's the number where you can reach out. Our uh, team at Franchise India will definitely help you with all the suggestions, all the feedbacks. You can also connect with management team of Franchise India at their respective LinkedIn ID. That's the information on your screen. And as per Indian Standard Time, 12 o'clock every day, we are presenting one business idea. All the digital, uh, all the investors who join us, us every day. So tomorrow we are presenting and inviting you for a master and unit franchisee model. We are presenting Shasha Shanda Shabarma brand. They are already operational with 14 plus successfully in outlets. They come from Hyderabad and they are presenting their business idea tomorrow with each one of you. Do not miss this chance. Please do, regist do registration today. You can get a registration link at the same hotline number, which is 97176-83838. Please join us tomorrow to see what kind of the business proposition they are creating in market. So thank you so much from our side. Do write to us at our respect, uh, at the respective LinkedIn IDs of our management team, as well as at our business hotline number. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great day. Thank you, friends.